All right, microphone check, one, two, yo, skip the bullshit. Yo, you already know yo. the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Episode 41 is underway. 41. God damn, man. It took us long enough. Shit. God it's damn. like 45. Right. Uh, yeah. We, we back on it. But the gang is in the building. Yeah, uh, here. Here LeBay is here. You already know. Miss Grinaway is in the building. Do? Alexander the Blanc is here. Yeah, Shout out to my guy, Wyman J Productions. Gio the Leo is here. And special videographer, Mr. Taz, Cannon Boy. Taz, why are you not on the camera, Taz? Right, like, <laughs> getting my professional, Taz. Y'all not about to do my man, Taz. Like this, Taz, we appreciate you being here. I miss Taz. Off, off the random pop up, um, yeah. Can, Cannon okay. Boy Films. Uh, shout yes, out to my sir. guy. Shout out you know to Taz. We here. The original. Uh, so, um, a little different this week because we took so long. So, how was y'all two weeks? Woo! Woo, child. Woo! Child. You know, two weeks has been very long. And um, what I will say is this week specifically. <coughs> sorry, guys. The Henny's. It's, 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 all right. Go ahead. Bro, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Sorry, guys. I haven't eaten today. And I'm drinking. That's, my, I'm, that's I'm my favorite song. Smoking hookah. Mm-hmm. These people like are trying to poison though. me. That's like, that's Beef. Crazy. That's cool. disrespectful. No, he, he, my no, family is poisoning me. <laughs> what song? Oh baby! Oh, she ain't catch the joke. Uh, she always that. got a joke. But when I when she I catch y'all know I don't know the new music. That's not fair. Okay, I like it though. But then when Let's you be fair. when you realize why he said it, then you're like, "Fuck you, Jay." Fuck you, Jay. I'm gonna say it in advance. <laughs> Throw baby. I mean, let me let me know. You can let me pass. crank though. That song crank. Um, wait. Randomly, before we start our week, did y'all see Tiger in that OnlyFans shit? Y'all didn't see that. This nigga. Yeah, so we put Tiger before us. I'm sorry. Damn. I just, I just, it just came to my mind because it Girl was just baby. wild. Yeah, it's nigga, like nigga, nigga had naked bitches all around him. The one bitch is eating the bitch out. Like that's his photo for the. Damn. It was wild. I, apparently his news got leaked Tiger. and it went up. I didn't see him, but hopefully he got paid through his own hands. Well, it's we up. know we know he cashed out. All right, but. Yeah, all right, but to our thing because that was random and I apologize, but you know when you be on Twitter, shit just starts like popping up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. To your week. <laughs> um, so long two weeks, very long two weeks. But this week specifically was a good week for me. Honestly, I did a lot of nothing, but it was amazing because Shout out to I, doing nothing because yeah, goddamn, ain't that rare? The, the shit is rare. So I got to just do all the little things I wanted to do this week. I caught up on some church, and I caught up on going down by some water. With my daughter, I worked out, of course. I meditated a little heavier this week. I prayed a little heavier this week. Um, so it was a really refreshing, reflecting YOLO week. And I fucked with it heavy because I needed that. Sinuses are kicking Man. my ass. It's not corona. Relax. Weather change. My sinuses. You know what? It's going around. It's nasally. going around. No, Everybody people, is saying I was a victim of it. Now, I will say at first I was like, is this that second wave? That third wave? Because they, they said October. Yeah, but. I know for me, I don't feel sick. It's just all in here. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's that been weather annoying. change. It's been annoying, but we pull it through when we're here. So if I sound a little nasally, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, we can't hear that. I'm kidding. <laughs> but other than that, the week was all right. The week was good. It was a good week. Hmm. I'm gonna go last, Alex. How was it? <laughs> my week was good. I can't complain to be honest. It was similar. Alex it was a lot of. Complained. Alex I mean, is just, like, just I mean, I have a bad Alex, day or something. I do. God I mean, damn. I just don't. Alex is cap because he just hit me the other day. Like, nah, I mean, <laughs> look, that's no, what I was Alex about to get to that. I was about to get oh, to that. Right, though. Okay. Alex is if feeling good, living better, was a person. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Nah, Alex just hit me the other day. Like, I hit him and told him, crying, so, bro, like, yo, bro, like, that's oh, cap. but basically, I told Jay like I hadn't felt like myself for like the past month and a half. No. I was no. dealing with some depression. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was dealing with some depression, but. I'm good, you know. I finally yeah. I Alex, was meditating. Alex, 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 Alex yeah. what, what, what had you feeling depressed? I don't know, bro. It was, it was just not my right. perspective for it. it okay. that attributed to it, but it's just sometimes you just gotta shift your perspective towards yeah. things. And I feel like okay. when you're looking at something with a negative, like just a negative standpoint, yeah. Yeah. it just that shifts everything. Shifts. So yeah, I had to really just be grateful. And, and like yeah. I wrote like gratitude lists throughout the week Very and good. stuff like that. So it helps. Well, we love and you, then, Alex. Yo, I watched it. Thank you. You're powerful. Oh, I appreciate it. We love it. And I got a shout out. Shout out to you for matching your socks with your outfit again. Because right. Alex is a waving <laughs> nigga. And you I'm going to say this. this. Alex, don't ever get depressed because I look at you as like the person that's like. She did bring you up. The, no, I she did. Really did I said, but Alex is just so positive and he's so good. And it's just, it's yeah. a blessing. And when you share that with other people, you know, we take to that. Hey, pause. So hold stay up. Stay in your bag. So, um, 
somebody hit me and said, it's, fact, it's funny that you said that, right? And I, I don't think what we do un, like unconsciously, right? Mm-hmm. I'm telling my man, don't ever get depressed because of what he is to you and other people. <laughs> so I don't, okay. I, haven't, I haven't watched this show. We needed, to, I, we should have watched it so we could talk about it. Somebody asked me, did, um, have I seen a social dilemma? Yes, I did. We I heard about it, but I, I haven't dilemma. watched it yet. But Monique I did watch and it. Alex watched it. They keep telling me to watch it. Right, so, so I, I haven't watch watched it. it. But when somebody sent it to me, they told me it was about a song. What it, they they related it to a song that I thought was dope. But because a lot of a lot of times, remember What's the when, song? Um, it's it's a local dude. His name Mike Even. Shout out to him. So um, shout, shout out to, to Mike, Mike Even. Even. Remember, uh, it was a, it was remember when Andre three thousand was saying it was a story. I said he didn't want to make music, mm-hmm. and right. everybody felt the way like yeah, like because right, what but you he do was, for yeah. us, but it's mm-hmm. like we're not worried about him. I ain't even put you on the spot, but she was just like, you can't ever get depressed. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like shit, like. But I got what she was trying to I say. Got, too. I got, I yeah, got. Yeah. Nah, but no, but I get what she was saying too. That's what we do unconsciously. No, yeah. but you know what? I'm a victim of that. Everybody thinks that. I got it all together and it's like it hurts when nobody believes me when I say like yo and not to take this to a dark place but you know I had a family friend who a few years ago you know very solid guy um good guy and you know he he called he reached out to my family a few times and he said he was depressed but we we laughed it off we made some jokes whatever and I lie to you not two months later he hung himself in a hotel mm. so you got to make sure that people are good within. It can't always be about what they do for you. That's a part of it. When you yeah. give everything to everyone else and there's yep. nothing left for you, like mm. sometimes you that's feel well. like there's no way out. And, and I, to add to that, like that's why this week I feel like was really me and God time. You know yep. what I'm saying? Because like, I felt, when I yep. really, when you need that replenishment yeah, and it's like you need replenish. that energy to pour out to uh-huh. other people, like you have feel to like you got to tap into the source. So you have to this. replenish. You have to. God, the homie, but hold up. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you could have talked to both of us. Because nah, I'm talking. Sure. About, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So like, nah, you can't just be out here giving advice but don't want to take none or don't want to. That's get, a fact. Yeah, nah, that's, yeah, a yeah, that's a fact. Because you're always yeah. Because you feel depressed, you call me and you say, Jasmine, these niggas capping. And I ain't feeling it. And I'm going I'm to tell you whatever right, you need to hear to get you back in the game. Oh, you can't be always oh, yeah. praying that. for people. people well, allow right. people to pray for you. Because like that's, that's like I think subconsciously that's actually a trauma response. Mm. Like to always want to be the one to pour in, pour in. And then you don't, people, you don't reach out so people aren't pouring into you. Mm. But you have to reach out because that's how you, you got to feed yourself back like a plant. Like, that's you know a fact. What I mean? and, like, even, and, Jay, and Jay told me straight yeah. up, he was like, bro, you, you, why didn't you tell me? Like he right. was like, anytime you need somebody to, so I appreciate yeah. that because now I know. that's what your friends are here yeah. for. Don't right. ever, right. don't ever underestimate the power of having people in your yeah. corner. For sure. I love y'all. Let's I snap appreciate for Alex y'all. being human because we never. Yeah. 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 Alex, is yeah. Alex is perfect. Alex is perfect. Like that. Alex don't even feel that way. He's the poster boy for feeling peaceful. Oh, yes. like, I feeling better, like, like you said. Yeah. Jay said she's last. Jay, how was your week? You said it was last. Said it wasn't going after him. But go ahead, oh, man, I thought go you ahead. said. So she ain't said she was. No, 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 no I, I, maybe I, I did. It. I it's the henny. It's the henny. Jay, Look, do your thing. On. Put some more peach in her cup, please. Say. Because <laughs> I need the. Look at the privilege sharing her privilege. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your privilege. But um, my weeks was cool, man. It was just, it was like I had people texting me about the podcast. I didn't want to say nothing about it, like. Yo, leave me alone. We work like that. Just, just relax, bro. God damn. It feels good. Don't it feel good to be missed, though? It did. I because, you know, I ain't gonna lie. When I seen the messages, nah. Nah. like, when I seen, it, it did for me. This is what it did for me because we took the two-week break and, you know, we'll we'll probably go into it later on. Um, However, what it did for me, it made me appreciate the podcast so much more because, mm-hmm. like, I had people in my DMs like, y'all ain't recorded last week. Y'all not recording Y'all today? Good? Y'all, good? I was like, like yeah. damn, I ain't, like you know people wa- looking, but the people are looking. Like you know what they're, I mean? So they're they're waiting that was for do- it. Yeah, so that was dope to feel, honestly. Yeah. So finish up your week. What happened? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> no, it was just cool. Then I uh, had to help my um my brother move to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? That was a long ass drive, but you no, know, it was cool, man. For real, to be honest. Besides that, started doing some work. I started to get so the break did allow me to get into more like into some other work. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I feel like I was forgetting about who you were. Yeah, yeah. Who, not who I were, but like who I was. But like the work that I've been started that 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 helped me get to where I'm at right now. So like it helped me tap back into the artists and things like that and doing my interview. So it was cool. Yeah, was, can't complain. What about you, Miss Greenaway? You know what? This two weeks for me has been, um, it's been humbling. It's been confusing and it's just been like a restart, I guess. Like, you know, 
sometimes you get so caught up in caught up in the day to day that you lose like your inner essence. So for me, this week was all about just getting back to my inner essence and mm. and why I'm anointed and why I'm God's chosen one. And I have to sometimes pull myself back into that because let me tell y'all something. The devil will try it. OK, Perfect. when he sees that you are really believing that you are who you God believe says you are. Absolutely. He comes in and he comes in full throttle. So yep. I had to fight back full yeah. throttle. Yeah. Yep. 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 But um, um, I do have court this week, guys. Pray for me. Um, again? I do. Same, same bitch. Same bitch. And, um, the fact that y'all both said the same, same thing. Bitch. Like, it's just same, same bitch. Same Debbie the Downer. You know, I feel like if I do go to jail, um, it's just a test. And um, <laughs> I'm on the run, like, <laughs> per usual, you know? So pray for me. You feel me? Pray for me. Um, I got this. I can handle it. Um, it's just a matter of... It could be jail. I'm not going to lie. We you know, things went left. Life. But yeah. all I'm going to say is I trust in God and I know that whatever is to come to me, God gives nothing to anyone that they cannot handle. So whatever yeah. is for me, I got it. Mm. There we go. Shout Talk out to Jazz. Shit. Free Jazz mm. in advance. Hey, like, just in case, because it's, looking, it it's looking cloudy. Put it on a dad hat. Period. <laughs> Damn, so because we gonna profit off of it <laughs> one way or another. You feel what I'm saying? Let's let's get into the shits real quick, man. <laughs> um, hey, uh, side at? note, yo, also y'all can also um, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna uh promote your stuff, you know what I'm saying? You wanna donate? You can do that. Uh, you looking for advertisement? Make sure you hit us up, the Gemini Scorpio Pod at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? You we don't got nothing know. on the table for a reason, cause you know price ain't right. Yeah, yeah, facts. Like, nah, that us. Price, like, and the price is going up. Mm. It's going up. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Hit, us going up, up. hit us up. We'll work with you. Going you know? up. Let's get to the shits, though. Uh, first topic dating outside of your experience. Huh? How come that's first? I mean, just random. Look I thought we doing. talked about the other one first. Well, oh, my gosh. Y'all just want me to spill my fucking tea. Yeah, right. No. I, love the I said yeah. no. <laughs> so explain it. What do you mean? All right. Well, Alex, you started off. Spotlight's on you. You brought it up. It hey, was your topic. But it's our topic. Okay. Wow. So first of all, it, it says, says that you segment one is with Sade. What did what, what is it? <laughs> okay, mean? so dating outside of your experiences or lifestyle. All right. Let's just scratch the surface. So a lot of the times in life we find attraction to people who not are not necessarily out of our league, but have just gone through things that you have not gotten to yet, or you may never get to. So Dating outside of your experiences or lifestyle can mean culture. Um, it can mean interest. It could mean race. It could mean financially. What does it mean for you? For me? Yeah. Like what? Like why would? What, what <laughs> did, did you? Why hand? did you bring me up hey. to the table? What like shit. What did you mean? Like why um, did you bring it so to the table origi- specifically? Well, well originally okay. we talked about this. Though, yeah. The originally, weeks ago. originally the topic came from an episode that I watched in Girlfriends, which is great. But mine, by the way. which was great. Uh, so it was actually a friendship thing at first. Uh, so being friends with people who have people who really... have different lifestyles. So basically, Joan, you know, rich lawyer. Well, not rich, but very wealthy lawyer. Her friend um, from Lynn? the projects. No, not oh, Lynn. Maya. Uh, Maya from the projects. You know, a little they try players like ghetto, but smart ghetto. She works in the office with Joan. Whatever. Joan is planning her wedding. Uh, Maya's like, oh, I want my I remember aunt from that the episode. hood. My aunt from the hood. I want her to make, bake all the sweets. I want the. I just want a regular wedding and you know here and whatever. And Joan's like, no, we have to do this extravagant because whatever. Her and Joan ended up getting into an argument because she's like, that's not my life. That's your life. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it being with my hood ass family. Not much. We don't need to have it crazy. But Joan's like, nah. Like we doing it bigger. We doing it better than that. We not on that. Mm-hmm. So. You know, and then when you bring it back to uh, dating, Jazz was like, you know, that's the same thing as dating. Like a lot of times you date in different experiences and how that shifts or molds the relationship as a whole. So. Absolutely, because I think sometimes um, not necessarily finding common ground, but like sacrificing something that you do so that the other person feels comfortable. Because I think comfortability is a lot of a relationship. So like. Okay, let's say you want to eat filet mignon. All right, I'm not saying I've never eaten filet mignon, but all I'm saying is I want a little checkers today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a thing of, oh, are you too good for checkers? Right. Or is it just something that you feel like is beneath you? Right. 
Because in, in where to find that balance? Because I think that sometimes, you know, where is the balance? Is it like, for example, are you acting like what I'm saying is like it's beneath, beneath you, you or are you trying to help me and give me other experiences? Right. Because some people are just simply like, no, nah, you could try something different. Eat, yeah. eat, eat, you could eat better. You don't have to. But some people take offense to it as in a way like, what you think? I'm eating bad? That, like, you know what I mean? And some people are, let's say, they are offending you because they're looking at you now like, oh, you like checkers? Like, I'm dating a bitch who likes checkers. Like, what am I doing? Right. But it's not even about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. about like getting into somebody else's yeah. comfort zone. Right. So I think like when right. we date outside of our experiences or our lifestyle, it's right. a challenge. Yeah. But I think is. it can be done. But then sometimes it can. Yeah. Real. Real. Culture it, too. Like, and right. When, if, when, when do you think it can be done? I think when you bring things into the matter like um, religion or just morality, it gets it gets shaky because say you know, I'm marrying someone who is culturally obliged to jump, jump a broom at their wedding. And I'm like, ah, I'm not jumping a broom at my wedding. Like, I don't care if that's what makes it real for you or not. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, then should you be marrying this person? Because if you can't even agree on wedding decisions, then obviously the differences, they're just, it's not going to cut it. I, I think, my bad, Alex. Uh, I think it also is like, it's just really, you know, understanding, like, I think like a lot of times, like fully understanding your partner is understanding where they're from and what they bring and what they're coming with. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you don't fully understand that it could get to a battle versus like a compromise. It's an, it's now, now it's like, well, you Me want this and you. I want that. And you want this versus like, well, you like this and I like this. Where can Let's we meet in the middle? Like, where can we meet in the middle? So I was going to ask, like, how much does that attribute to, like, can you really bet that unless you truly know yourself like dating somebody outside of your experiences because like you know some people yeah comes into your life and yeah. they open your eyes to other things that you've never experienced yeah. like on a positive note right. rather than negative so how do you vet like this is better for my growth as opposed right. to like or is it just right you go into every situation with an open mind or i think it would be that like i think you would have to go into a situation with an open mind because like even for example like it's so funny me and jay was just talking something similar today like it was just like you know, we're both, you know, in the process of trying to move to Atlanta, you know, very soon. Well, fix your face. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, when you look at certain things that you want, like, you know, we're like some like, for example, some people for, you know, saving money purposes, like we could live, you know, here, save money. Like, you know, what I'm saying come here. We live in cheaper. We'll save a lot more money and we could grind it out, you know. And then you have other people like it's like, yeah, well, I want to live a certain way. Like, so I, I'm OK with sacrificing certain things to live this way versus like, you know, so it comes like it can come to a battle sometimes where it's like, OK, well, this is what you want to do. I want to do. But that's where I think where it comes to a compromise where you have to meet in the middle, because I feel like it all has to be open minded. Like it has, you know, to, it has to be, so you know, what threatens that not to cut you off, but you know what threatens that is pride. And so I was going to say that. So what? I think there's so many questions into it, right? Like, because what's compromise to you? Because we all we all think differently, and we got to accept that. I think it's acceptance and compromise, right? Because <clears throat> let's say, like, you're adamant on living in a certain place, right? Um, What what do you think is compromise for you? Like, what do you, <clears throat> even in the Atlanta situation, like, what is compromise? What's compromising for you? Because what's compromising for you might not be compromising for me. Right, that's real. Um, So just to give it a little more in-depth, like, so, right, we, we were talking about apartments, mm -hmm. right? So originally moving to Atlanta, we wanted to get a house, but I think we both agreed now we'll rent first just to see if we like it and then get a house. So right? just to give some advice on that from people that I've had advice from, you always rent first because you might move somewhere and we don't like it. It might be nice. Yeah. And you don't like yeah, the, neighbor, right. the neighbors. You that, don't like that, the neighborhood. Right. A lot of things. You that's, might work that's why we, I think we both was yeah. like, let's rent there first. Yeah. And then, right. Stack but then, and then we were talking about the apartments because, you know, it, it, there's, even like there's just levels to apartment styles. Like, you know, you could get a cool apartment. Amenities might not be up to date, but it has everything you need. Like it has a washer, a dryer, but it's like white, you know, appliances. white appliances. I ain't really with that. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm just being a hundred. Like, that's just me. Like, you know, I need the stainless steel appliances. I need the updated. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just real. Like, that's just who I am. Like, I want my shit the way I want it. I want it to look how I want, but that's what's 
aesthetically pleasing to myself. Right. Not you know, me, Jay's, guys. I live in. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Jay's like, hey, like we could save money, which makes sense because financially it makes sense. Like, oh, we could save money because move down there. We're already cheaper. You know what I'm saying? I feel and we save you money. on that because let me tell you something. Even in the process of saving money, I'm sorry, but I have a certain standard of living. I do. And that I will not compromise. I do. And, and right. So when it comes to compromise, when Jay's like, like, you know, we could save the money. For me, it would be maybe not the more expensive stainless steel one, but we maybe could go black appliances. cheaper. Maybe, you know, no. But <laughs> like maybe. I mean, my shit's stainless steel, look, 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 so I don't really no, know, no, but I'm not, just saying. It's not directly black appliances, but it's like, okay, we could find something in a price a range yeah. closer to that but still has updated things where I feel comfortable, but it's still cost effective. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it might not be the white uh, appliances pricing, but it's not necessarily this high end stainless steel pipe, but we could find somewhere in the middle. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that would be compromise for me, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Does the kitchen have an island? <laughs> Shower easy because it's not. It's like not. No, I, I, I think I think I I definitely think uh, it comes down to compromising, and I feel like a lot of times people just don't want to compromise because, like you said, I think a lot of times how we think uncondition um unconsciously shows in our actions. So right. like when you say things like, "I'm not about to compromise my way of living," you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, what if I've been compromising my way of living this whole time? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, what if yeah. I was compromising my my way of living the entire time for you? So yeah. now. It's my turn. You know what I'm right. saying? And that could be a compromise on the other side. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like. Okay, wait. But, but let me interject before we go any further because I want to be fair here. And I feel like we are, again, going into relationships that are in depth. You guys have been together for years. Right. If we're just talking about dating, we're yeah. talking about beginning stages. Right, right. So Real. I think it's a, it's also a thing of like, okay. You meet someone, mm -hmm. you like them, and now it's time to go to the next step. You right. guys start hanging out. That's when you really start breaking down who someone is. And right. that's, and when that's why I said understanding. Yes. Because I feel like you have to understand your partner. So, like, if you get with a girl that you know likes to is move Jewish, or live. Like, is, right, is, or, or whatever. Orthodox and it's don't want the like, television on. Right. Then when you go and move and you, and you think that you're going to have her watching TV, you played yourself because you knew from the gate that she doesn't like television. So, right. I think it's also a thing of, like, right. people get this... Um, God complex where they feel like, well, I'm going to change you. So no worries. I like you. I'm going to mold you into what I want. Mm. But that's just not realistic. That's a fact. Mm. So how much time do you, how much time does that take to like realize, you know, this at the gate? Like what is the process? of that? I, I feel like it comes with time because honestly, this is just not something you're going to find out in the beginning because I think even in the beginning dating stages, everybody's compromising because it's kind of like, well, I like you. So yeah. like, okay. All right, I might not technically like to go to these flags, restaurants, yeah. but I'm going to go because you like it. And maybe you're showing me something I don't but you know. you know what? That but right then there, after you go a certain right amount there, of times, though, you're like, I don't even like this. Honestly, like, that right there, it takes though, a while. that right there, though, is the problem. Yeah. Because instead of being so afraid to lose somebody, yeah. you need to speak your mind. Right, right. Not speaking your right. mind prolongs right. wasting your time. Exactly. Because now you're, you, you know that you don't right. like this, but right. you're like, I like him or her. So I'm going to just shut up and take it. I would say, clarify. You like the idea. The idea. You like the idea. Right. Because right. cool. you don't know really them like entirely. Her, you'd you like get, the rest of her. Right. And right. you're not going to agree on everything. This right. is not and that's a real. utopian society. Yeah. However, you know who is for you and not in the long run. Right. I right. mean, no, so. Ah. From a woman's perspective, I don't know about a man. So I can't speak on a woman's perspective. But what I would say is, I feel like for a man's perspective, you don't know because, and I just think it's human nature because, like you said, in the beginning of that honeymoon phase, it's like you're you're doing things because you like somebody. You're doing things because it's like you're almost chasing them. It's like you want them. You want to win the prize, right? And then once you get the prize, that's when you begin to be yourself. yourself. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And I feel like uh -huh. it's so normal, but we need to normalize being yourself in the beginning. In the beginning, you from know what I'm saying? Beginning. And it's not that people yep. are doing it to trick bad. But you yeah. know what, Jay? I'll tell you from somebody who is in the process of dating, it sucks because. I'm to the point where, yes, I'm coming in straight up, real off the gate, but you can't always, like, everybody else doesn't always meet you there. Yeah. So it is a process because it's like, all right, well, I'm coming in real. I'm telling you, so I don't like this, I don't like that. People but have you're to do sitting it. here not and still not saying what you don't like uh -huh. or like. So it's like, it's still a tricky game. Because what so happens are you selling a dream or what? no? Nah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it's, what I was calling like, it. So, like, <laughs> just being honest, right? I think what happens is, even if one person is being real, 
the other person is then compromising how they feel to meet you where you at when they really don't want to. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, let's say if you're like, yo, I'm going to do this whether you like it or not. I don't really like that, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to be open-minded. And sometimes mm-hmm. being open-minded is really being yeah. blind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I feel like sometimes... So oh, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. I just feel like sometimes we got to be real with ourselves. And yeah. if we don't like it in the beginning, we got to nip it in the bud then because it's going to be 10 times harder when right. down the line. Down the line. So, right. So my only thing is this, like, I feel like, for example, how do you address somebody when they're not like, like you say you're giving like, this is who I am. Mic check one, two, one, two. <laughs> Y'all want to know? And then they're like, all right, they're okay. Everything's all right. All right. And then it's just like, again, when they settle into themselves, like, and, and now they like you and now that honeymoon stage over now it's like, well, I actually never liked that. Mm-hmm. You know, like, how do you is? deal with that? And I'm a very blunt person, so I can't speak for everyone. But yeah. like for me, I'll call your bluff. Right. Hey, you said in the beginning you like roses. Now you're telling me that you sneeze when you get near roses. What's up with you? Then it's your responsibility to be like, OK, like, OK, I feel like every you can never control how somebody else is going to act. Yeah, that's impossible or to react do. or react. But what you can do is control the way that you receive it. Mm. So at some point, you know, that's why I think things just go on too long and they need yeah. to have been deaded because yeah. it's like, all right, now it's like, okay, I can't control if you played me. Cool. But at some point, it's my responsibility exactly. to be like, you're playing with me. I'm I got to go. Yeah. bro. Well, but a lot of people don't have the strength to do that. And what I think is just so much deeper than that because a lot of times, like, and when we can go into the, Fun part of y'all want. I feel like a lot of times men are the one that's compromising. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of times. I disagree. I know I you like were. Of course you were. I feel like men compromise a lot, but I feel women compromise just as much as well. If not more. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to give one side the other higher power. I'm going to say both because a lot of times, again, like, you know, you mentioned, like, how do you know when women are compromising and they're not? Like, mm-hmm. how do you know they're compro- not compromising? Like, you know what I'm saying? So. To say that men compromise more would technically be undermining undermining the woman. The woman. Because, mm-hmm. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, I feel like both parties compromise. So to say comp- men compromise more, I feel like you're already, already just... You're basically being selfish because... And this is, I feel like, with what most men do. At this point, you are making it about you. And it's like, all right, yeah, well, I compromise this, I compromise that. But did you even check to see what she compromised or are you just so much in your own head that you're like, well, is if I'm giving up this, I'm giving up that it mm-hmm. has to go here. But are you even in tune with the woman to realize like, what did she give up I think. Or, or, or to you? Is it, Oh, she's tailor made no, for me. Or is that, well, it's not as much as I gave up. So it's not nothing. I to think her. <clears throat> or like, women, or, women, I mean, women are like, we talked about in our previous episodes, women are made out to be these submissive creatures where we have to subdue to everything that the man wants. So in your mind, is it less of a task for a woman to compromise? Because you're like, well, women fall in line anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Subconsciously. So but you just said is women are supposed to be submissive. No, that's, she's saying I mean, that's what society. What well, that's what we discussed in our previous says. episodes. Like it says that said we, we would like our women. We would like, but I mean, but, but it's not the reality. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, the reality, if you want to be real. On. Let's no. talk about the reality. Like reality was, was, y'all motherfuckers no, I'm ain't. Tell you what it is. Like, Hold shit, up. y'all don't listen. The reality was women did do it See? and women started standing up See? to it. So there's a difference. Hold on, Jay's about it to get was, cooked again. It was watch. that way. It was that way. Women stayed home, did this, did that, whatever they and made. And they've been that way in Yeah, but it's because men years. ain't been doing yeah. all they was doing 50 years ago either. Sure. No, you know yeah. what it is? Men did it and then they started thinking, well, since I do it, I can have my cake and eat it too. Basically. And that's I mean, where it got changed. That's what you're supposed to do when you have cake. I hate that saying. What? I can have my cake and eat it too. Like, what, like in what terms? I'm supposed to eat my cake. I'm just saying the same, period. Like, oh, the same? I want my cake and eat it too. Like, duh. I'm not about yeah, to buy okay, it if I don't want to eat it. Okay, right, so we're not talking about the okay, cake is gone, then what? Then, <laughs> what? Like, like, do you shit. get another cake? Like, right. The saying. Yeah, so that's what happens. That's why people move on. I want my cake. Hey, go to fucking hell. I'm saying Go to fucking. Hey, you know what? Pause. I need someone to edit that out. But keep going. She says some big wild shit that I'm I don't sorry. know what she's talking I about. Mean, I mean, a chocolate cake, you said? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Vanilla what? bean. My bad. Sorry. What are you about? Apple sorry. pie. Apple pie. <laughs> so that's that bullshit. What bullshit? Whatever. Um. Anyway, I think men compromise more than women. Period. Because why? You know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I like like you said. Let's rewind back. First thing you said was you feel like you're being 
straight up, straightforward in how you what you want. In the right beginning, now, right? In the right. beginning. And I feel like a lot of women are straightforward, honestly. I do. I, I feel like because a lot of a, a lot of women are straightforward. Like yeah. A lot of women is not. <laughs> it's bullshit because yeah, they lot of men want that idea. Of, but yep. my bad. Yeah, Go okay. Ahead. I mean, I'll take that. But what I'm saying is yeah. a lot a lot of times men in the beginning, they don't face what they want, really want, because they're scared that they're gonna lose. You're like, all right, I'm a I, I'm going to be open-minded. You know what I'm saying? So if, if if it's not my way, let me be open-minded and try it another way. And that's not, and we knew from the jump that we didn't like that, period. Like, it's hey, like. Yeah, I got to give I, it to Jay on that one because I feel like all my niggas hate me. So it's I like, think. it's like, I'm going to be open-minded. He's like, you know what? I don't really fuck with that, but maybe it's me. Let me be open-minded. I'm going to try something different. Like, yeah, I'm tripping. And, I'm and look at me. I'm like, I never liked it from the still jump. Still not you know the right saying? way. And but that's, who's, what that's what we tell ourselves. Okay, like, maybe maybe I'm just overanalyzing. Okay, is that it's a compromise, a, yes, it is. or is that you just not caring about yourself enough it's to both. say what you don't want? Well, that's both. why I because said. I think okay, but okay. So here's the thing: when you self compromise yourself, that's a personal problem. Can I have some more, honey? But you know what? Men are hunters, so that's I think a it's, I think men problem. are like he said. It's about winning that prize. I right. think men are hunters, and I think that see, this is what it is: men don't really compromise. What they do is they play to your needs because they know that that's what's going to get you open. So, look at you. Yo, yeah, no. I know, I know. Hold that's up. Cap. Yeah, I know, that's what? not cap. Like, hold nah. up, no, hold up. Let me finish. Because in men's, in a man's mind, and this is just me theoretically speaking because I'm not a man, so I don't know. Okay. But in a man's mind, I feel like it's a challenge. And when you're trying to win something, you're going to pull out all the stops. So it's like, all right, you, you really know don't you don't care like it. if you don't compromise. It, when because you you're, 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 so, you're compromising because you want to win the prize. prize. That's and then once you get it, it's thing. back to your it's way. Not the it's, prize. A, it's a competition. For the, for the, for it's a competition. Well, that's what well, I think like it is. That. And I don't think, <laughs> you don't like, I don't think that's a compromising thing. I think y'all are just competitive creatures. But No, you're thinking wrong because that's not it. We're the men. I'll tell you what it is. As a man, I'm telling you for me, I just want to be open-minded. And I feel like a lot of women aren't open-minded. Like, y'all very close-minded. Wow. Y'all y'all know what you're... And y'all wow. very stern. And that's okay. Because that's what you need to balance for. Because it's that's how they taught me that. Like, women be having their, this, their lives planned out at, like, 12, 12 bro. Years like, always, literally like, just ready. Okay, like, so this is my thing, right? If, if, if what's y'all, your thing? Can you stop sassing me? Because I'm not giving I ain't get a chance to get my... Like, get, all right, we'll finish. Right. But you don't got to keep sassing me because you ain't get your point out. All right, bro. Like, Thank you. All right, so what I'm saying is, look, when it comes to women versus men, I feel like women are very stern in what they want. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say all women, but a lot of women, a lot of times in my experiences, women just are like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to be open-minded. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to men, I feel like, again, in my wow, experience. Jay. Jay, hey, stop. Nah. Can I'm going to stop you Let's, now before you get Can, can I make a point I mean, and I know, look, look. Can I make a point? Cool, you know what I'm saying? This is going to start the conversation because y'all was asleep. You know what I'm saying? I, can, can but what I'm saying is, you keep saying, can I, can I, can I? Go ahead. I was going to let you finish. You don't have to do that. Relax. Go All right, ahead. cool. So what I'm saying is, like I was saying. <laughs> like you were saying, was, as, like was, as like you like were saying. Com compromise in action. Yeah, so I feel like women just, y'all are very stern in y'all ways. Y'all not very open-minded at times. You know what I'm saying? And then, so when it comes to being dating a woman, at that moment, again, like Jazz said, I'm very straightforward with, with the man. So it's like, yo, you know what? I like this woman. So what I'm going to do, because I like her, it's not that I'm compromising myself. It's that I'm compromising to be fair in a situation. Okay, and but how do you know when you're doing it to conquer whatever it is that you're set out to conquer or when you're doing it because it's like, all right, I fuck with this person. This is what I have because to Because I'm telling you exactly why. I'm telling you because we want to be open-minded because we like you. It's not, the, it's not to get you. It's okay, because, okay, but then but also you might, I feel like for me, being open-minded, you might teach me something. Yeah, that I don't already know. Right. And I got to give room for that. You know what Facts. I mean? An experience that I may never Facts. have seen or okay, something so like that. Okay, so when you don't, don't like it, same, when you don't like it, then I learn something up. that maybe I don't like. That, right. You know what I mean? But if I just cut it off, I'm yes. like, you don't, I've never, you never know. And I feel like a lot of times you don't know until you're That's a big experiment for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really my, an experience. But my thing is, if y'all know this, why don't try try a different metric? All right, I'm going to tell you why. Same reason. Because... Everybody know what it takes to be successful. They just don't do what it takes. So it's not. So I'm not, if you know to be, so basically, you said we're human. That's it. Oh, okay. I'm saying like I was gonna say mediocre. You, but you know what they say? They say mediocre. They say, I'm saying. I'm they, saying if you know the process, you know and they, everybody knows the process, and just like you know what it does to be successful, so you outwork everybody else. You do what you're supposed to do. Why, when it comes to a woman, why not change the metrics? I, I, because I also feel like, hold on, I'll let you speak. 
I also feel like at the end of the day, like I know you will classify all women. I can't say classify all men. I just said not all women. Fine. You said most. But you said most, right? I'm in not my even gonna experience. say I'm not in your experience. Fine. But I'm not gonna say in most of my experience because that might not be experience. But that's not my experience. I know but that's that. my experience. I'm not taking away from your experience. I'm only talking about mine. Are you done? Okay. Thank you. So what I was saying in my experience, I've had a Episode balance of 41, both. Gemini Scorpio. You already know the vibes. I've seen both sides, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen straightforward men, and I also seen men who bullshit, like, or just play the field until they figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And what I realize is that, to be honest, you know, granted, me and Jay are working. However, I do see the men that are just straightforward. We know what's up through the gate, so it's like, so okay, we me know. Me and Jay are working like I'm not straightforward. I'm not saying you, said you just said you said you compromise, right? Make so your mind if up. you. You said you compromised, right? So that means you compromised from the beginning, right? So that means later on. I was open-minded from the beginning. Fine. You were open-minded from the beginning, right? So what I've seen, if you're straightforward on both parties, there's no time wasted. So what I will say there's is. There's no time wasted. But guess what? There's no time wasted what? because it's like, I don't like that. I don't like that. You, you know what? what? When you always that That's time. ideal. That's Unfortunately, in this Let's bullshit ass real world life. that we live in. What do you, first of all, don't take away that I'm not saying real life. No, I said it's saying is how it should be. Yeah, I'm saying how it should but be. But how it goes? Like, don't try to play like me. Like it should be no, that but on I both that's, sides. Okay, even still, that's still whoever's experience. My experience, I've seen both sides. And I'm thankful for the sides where they're both were straightforward because we didn't waste any time. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as the minute is like, okay, I like this, I like that. I like this, I don't like that. I like this, I don't like that either. You know what? It's not going to work. That's not going to work. I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And ideally, yeah, a lot of people may not do that, but it doesn't mean it doesn't happen in reality. It's just that the people may be, it could be a lot of things. Subconsciously, maybe you're chasing the same type of woman. Subconsciously, maybe a girl is still chasing the same type of man. It could like be the Trinity. same thing. Do you feel like I'm, yeah. I'm being dead ass. I feel like at the end of the day, if both parties aren't, you know, so you really feel, take right. go ahead. You feel like we settle a lot? I feel like oh, yeah. I feel like people ha settle, and I feel like it's a oh, lesson yeah. learned for everybody. But I do feel like once you do settle, you don't settle again. But that's why I said it's your responsibility exactly to decipher between what's exactly. real and what's not. Right. Exactly. And all I'm saying is I just feel like a lot of times men are more susceptible to be like, like you said. I'm not going like, to say a lot of times because I, I don't know everybody's. My, me in my experience, right? You literally just said it before the show. And you might you might say you was joking, but I don't think so. You was right. like, if me and Jay don't work out, I would never date a Gemini. Right. And I, I feel was like joking. For, for for men, I don't think like even though I might say I would never date a cancer, but like I'm not serious. You know what okay, saying? but like, why when I said I don't know if you were serious or not, but when you say you said the same thing, I'm, but because, I was really just joking. So, time out. I was really just okay. joking. Right. But you've said that plenty of times. I have. Right. But it doesn't mean you're not. Like, what does that even mean? Literally nothing. It just means that so I don't know. So then what you bring if, it up for? I literally said, I don't know if you were joking, but I wasn't. Oh, I was joking. That's it. I'm saying. Okay. So you say you, you were joking. So it's sure. Cool. You're okay. joking. That's it. Okay. Anyway, so like I'm saying, I feel like women, women know exactly what they want. Like Alex said, since 12, women know. Episode 41 of the Gemini School. So like, podcast. women know, women know what they want since they were 12, right? Like they have this picture. Hold up, hold up, wait, 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 That's not true for me. That's not true for me. We're not gonna run with that because that's not true for me. All right, y'all gonna get me talking now. Hold up, Jay. You can roll your eyes if you want. Let me just let y'all know something. That right there is completely this bullshit. Falsified. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I still don't know exactly, exactly what I want. Exactly, like you're still learning over I'm and still over and over again. Out I have what an I idea. want. I feel like y'all at this point you're taking away from our human nature because mm. as a human, teach us, man. you are learning every you for day. Saying, but that's what every men day. do. No, that's no, what hold men up, do. Women, women do. Men do. I don't see men a lot of women do that. Like men don't. I don't see a lot of men do what Alex just did. A lot of men aren't gonna be like teach me. You're lying. You're like that's not true. No, like, that's I'm not, not true. Lying. What? I feel like what? we do what it in a different that way. Term to me at Hold all. on, but let me I just say said, this. Me? Let me I just say this. Jay, Hold on. Bullshit, We're all bro. human. We're all figuring life bullshit, out day bro. by day. Bullshit. So enough of the stereotype that I'm picking out my wedding dress when I'm 12 years that's old. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because I might not even be a female that wants to get married. I'm still figuring that out. So maybe in your minds, y'all looking at women as a bride to be, I, I but that's not always the that's not always the scenario. Right, I don't quick. know what the fuck I want. All right, yet. Let me ask you one question real quick. Did you have a date set when you thought in your mind like I'm gonna be married by this age? No, I'm gonna do no, no. A lot of women, so, I, some women do. So I'm not I gonna say all so women. I, do. I, so I did. I did. I had a date. I had a date like, okay, I'm probably going to be married by such and such. But I feel like we were little girls. Like, at little girls, yeah, we're watching fucking Cinderella. We're fucking watching 
Princess and the Frog. But that's we're what watching, I'm okay, saying. but that's, that's a fairy tale life. That's not saying. reality. It doesn't mean that it's set in stone for reality. First of all, it just means that I'm watching fairy tales. You know what it's like? That's you know what it's like? It's like saying you're gonna be a fucking Batman. It's like you get older. No, you know what it's like? It's like when you're younger, right? Whatever. It's like when you're younger and you have older uncles and aunts, and you're looking at them. They're only 25, and you're looking at them like, wow, they're a real adult. Right, then you get 25 and be like, like man, I'm a kid still for kids. real. Yes. Exactly. I feel the same way about my sisters. And that's kind of how it was. I was like, yo, I was like, what? My sisters are older than me. They're kids. First of like, all, there's people that period. are older than me going through shit that I've been through already. Uh, thank you. So it's like, thank you. So, so who, everybody's life is custom made it's for them. Right. So there's people who feel like, you know, they should get married at 18 before mm-hmm. they have sex. And then there's people who feel like they, I'm not doing that because I don't know if exactly. I want to marry someone before I get to that get point. you get to the age and you realize that Experience. Bullshit. It's bullshit. It's, experience. it's like your parents. It's like when your parents tell you certain shit and then you get older and you'd be like, hold up. Now, they was doing all this and doing all that, but I'm doing it too. It's not impossible. They make it seem like if you don't do it this way, everything's going to come crashing down. Then when you get older and you step into your own experiences, you're like, okay, wait a minute. I see how they did it. But I could do it a different way. There's exactly. multiple ways to do something. So, exactly. no, not all women are playing with Ken and Barbie and making yeah. a wedding. Well, guess what? We're going to do what we said we were doing regardless. Yeah, right. It's cool. Don't worry about it. It's, it's all right. So, like, um, we're talking about love. Yeah. Keep it over in mind. I mean, going to keep it over in mind. Because if, 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 if we would never say that, I, I, I guarantee the conversation would never come to an end. Because they would always want to argue that point. It's like, you know what? It's not arguing. Like, it's not arguing. It's just expressing how we feel. You Word. expressed how you feel. No, feel I'm gonna say this. this. Y'all feelings are valid. They, they are, are valid. Thank feelings you, are valid. Right. And Thank you Alex. Either, but it's okay. Jay's it's feelings right. are invalid. Like, <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm, I'm used to it. So uh, what I was gonna say is, oh god, <laughs> I'm stirring <laughs> up the pot. All right, you, right, you know what? He can do that on his own. Cause look, let's. What is love? Like what? I said. Yeah, okay, like, next topic. Are. Love you is patient. You keep doing that shit. Like I won't throw it back. Stop it. Go ahead. Love is. No, I'm not. See, are we still talking about shade next love topic? Is, okay, what is love? What, Y'all topic. What Corinthians this say? This is love. No, I don't want to fucking push you. Start. Yes, you do. No, All no. right, this is this is love. Okay, yeah, what is love? love? Okay. This crazy shit right here. Y'all got the floor. This is fucking bat shit. Y'all what see? is your love? This is your topic. Go ahead. Tell what is love. I thought this was our topic. I mean, you kind of said it, but go ahead. I could have sworn that you said that this topic was for the relationship people and that yeah. we were yeah, supposed so to just give our single experience. But it's your segment, so start it and get to what's it. What's love to you, babe? Answer. That's the question. Me. Like, that's my topic. Like, what's love to you? That's a fact. Okay, so love to me is, okay, the first thing I think about love is, first of all, unconditional. But when I go into unconditional, I go into unconditionally being able to have the freedom to grow mm. on your journey unconditionally like whether that comes with what you may not like whether it comes with what you do like it's a journey so unconditionally loving the fact that your partner is on their journey and whatever that looks like you have to accept it that is love to me the freedom to grow into myself freely how about you love for me i think is um sacrifice i think it's time Mm -hmm. um and i think it's patience that's what I think love is. Mm-hmm. Uh, to go into your opinion of love, right? You said to be able to grow. Freely. Freely. <clears throat> How can you grow freely in a relationship? Grow. All my experiences with or without you are mine. And whether you're a part of them or not, you should be able to watch, cheerlead, give affirmation, sit back, and let it blossom. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I feel like people are gonna look at this, and my faces are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the so hitting, no, like guys. Let's, let's let's have that conversation. So when you say grow freely yeah. in a relationship, right? So you basically what it sounds like to me is like you're supposed to be able to do whatever you want to do. Mm, that's nah, not what I said. That's not what so she said. You that's said grow freely. Heard. I said whether you like it or not. I said whether you don't like. It. So. I don't Let think she's saying disrespect down. you yeah, while I figure out who I am. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Not going, to break it down. So what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, relationship or not, everybody is still an individual, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Just as much as I'm a mother, but I'm still an individual before I'm a mom. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I still have to be able to grow in my own personal experience as a woman and still be able to have my partner love me through that process. Sometimes it may not be something he doesn't like. You don't sit in a woman's shoes, so you cannot feel that. Mm -hmm. However, you have to be able to sit from the sidelines, rub my back, and allow me to grow and blossom into that, whether you don't like me. It don't like it. It doesn't mean that I'm out here disrespecting you, but sometimes my mind may change. Sometimes I may, you know, now I'm thinking in a realm of 
something that might not even have nothing to do with you, but it's okay for you to sit by my side, even though it doesn't have nothing to do with you. Like, for example, I want a career, I may want a career change. You know what? I may want to quit my job right now. And I'm not asking you to take on financially, but you need to understand that my job is stressing me out. I'm an individual. You know what I'm saying? My mental matters. So you have to be able to sit with me through those hassles and vice versa. So facts. Not saying let's, let's anything key on less on that for thing. you. If you Wow. Okay. Let's let's talk about that, right? If you want to say, I want to change my career, right? And that's growing right. as individually, right? Yeah. However, when you're a couple, all that individual shit happens on your own time. So when we're a couple- There is no own time, then, because then where's my own time? If you say it happens on your own time, that means we would have to break up. Okay. So- when I'm saying, like, when you say, I'm just speaking on, keying on the job part, right? You said, if right. I want to change my job, I'm not asking you to take on the expenses, but that's what's going to happen. Because That's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. I may not leave my job till I have a six-month savings. That may not be necessarily true. Okay. But you can't say, like, no, you shouldn't do that. Like you, I feel like in a relationship, those <clears throat> conversations, when it comes to love, I feel like com- those conversations right, well, so, at least be had, though. I'm not saying they can't be had. I'm just okay. saying that the no, uncom- I'm, I'm never saying that can't, I'm not saying subtract any conversation. I'm saying at the same time, you have to understand that life is going to come with changes for me separately outside. Of, of course. Me. So growing freely also promotes us growing together yeah, because 100%. if I'm not comfortable freely, then I'm not going to be comfortable with you. And I I'm think, saying. um, I think that, you know, Alex touched on this a couple of weeks ago when he was saying that, you know, use your time when you're single to work on yourself. It's going to sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely want to work on yourself when you're together. But it's like, yo, a lot of things you should have been worked on before you got to. I don't agree. I feel like for you, I mean, I feel like I feel like like people are growing every day for you to tell somebody. I feel like, yeah, common basics. You need to know common basics. You need to know. You need to know your finances. You need to know what triggers you and don't trigger you. You need to know what you need to be responsible for in your life and don't be putting that all on your partner. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. However, because we are still literally, no matter how much we are grown, we're still babies to life. It does not matter. I'm growing every day. So no, I can't handle everything I would handle at 40 because I ain't motherfucking 40 yet. I'm not 40 yet to be able to deal with 35 and 40 year old problems. Like I'm not. So therefore, how are you going to tell me like, deal with that before you get into a relationship, then that means I would just be single for to be single forever. I should be able to still handle my shit, but come in and still be able to handle my shit. Yes, you are. And I, That's I what I'm saying. That 100%. All I'm saying is like little things, I feel like the conversation should be had. It's not... The way you introduced it, at I first. never said no conversations should be had. That never, I'm never saying... I'm, that's To me, that to me for me, that doesn't channel anything of what I'm saying because, of course... All that comes with communication. So you, Nobody's all I'm gonna say is if you don't if you don't say it if you don't say this or that I'm left to assume what I want to because okay. you ain't say anything. So I left feel on like the table. your perception allows you to assume what you want to. You could assume that we're gonna have the conversation, but you assume that we're not. But that's just my opinion. So how does love differ? Wait, we didn't say what we thought love was. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's I feel like love is God, mm, and what stomach. God represents to me is unconditional support. What's Best deal, friend, dude. Is this funny to you, motherfucker? That, I'm that, that, telling if, you. If you don't get your world peace here. No, I'm talking to Tess. I, mean, I was going in that direction. Behind the scenes. I was talking to Tess. You go. <laughs> My nigga. That's why we, we here. Okay? That no. was the most. But you know what? <clears throat> no. I swear to God, though. No, I'm joking. And I, I put that on God. To me, love is God. You got to love me despite my shortcomings. Period. You got to love me despite my wins. People get jealous. People get envious. Mm-hmm. To me, love is so pure that we don't have to go there. I trust you. You're my best friend. You support me. It's unconditional. You ain't yeah. gonna always like me. I, I'm sure I disappoint God, but He always, mm-hmm. I always yeah. come back. And to He me. always so, gives you know me grace. I listened to that this morning on church. Mercy. By the way, but, but, it was grace. But pause. It was grace. How many times? Sorry, I didn't mean to say it, but to go into that, what I listened to the church on today. What they were saying is God is such a merciful God. That's where mercy comes in because what happens is no matter how many times you mess up, He gives you back the grace to show you. But you know what? Well, that what? But I, you know what? You also fear God. But you yes. know what? And that's where but, it balances. And that's why else? I say you have to re- I, love is respect. Yep. But love is also kind. But yeah. wait, you said the first thing you said was love is God. It is. God Nobody is on this earth is God. But we are all but we are all trying to live in his image. And they say and, 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 and listen, and, and God knows we're not God. That's right. why when we fuck up, he brings he us back. Get, exactly. If say, I can't come back to you and 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 
and I'm not God. That's the thing. So it's like, and you're not, but that's why I said to me, there's always that person that I'm not saying, Oh, okay. I'm disregarding everything about you. And I'm saying, I'm saying, fuck you. And I'm cheating on you or I'm abusing you. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when I fuck up and you know that my intention is not to hurt you, you got to come and you got, you have to rescue me. God always pulls me back. So love to me is synonymous. As long as I come back to you in full, that's love to me. Guess what? And that's cool. All I'm saying is when you say love is God, nobody on this earth, and they say like that's the only person who can be perfect. That's why we get, we can repent to God, Jesus Christ, because he's the only person. But, who, but, the but idea we are to live in to his image. Live in his image right. and to chase that and to better ourselves. To because be if we're not doing that, that as we so possibly what, what are we doing? You know, you know what else comes that's with? What I'm you know saying. what else comes with um, chasing that and mirroring God? It comes with understanding that the road to hell was paved with bad, with good intentions. You get what I'm saying? So we can't keep leaning back on because I'm I'm one of them people. No, we, so good intention, but in action, in action. Yes. So there's good intention, and then there's action. And See, action leads to the marrying of God if you are bettering yourself each and every absolutely. day right. so, but, and perfecting those areas. Because it's like we That's said earlier, different. You make you make a certain compromise or decision, and you know it's wrong. But mm-hmm. do you continue on with it? It's the right. same thing in love. It's like, same. okay, mm-hmm. you fucked me over. Do I continuously bash you? Or right. do eventually I say, okay, I know your intention right. and I see your action to try to rectify it. Right. You have to have mercy it, mm-hmm. in any relationship. Fair. I don't care what it is. God is very merciful. And I feel like that that doesn't come with pride. So to me, like I said, love is God. Like when when you put your pride aside, when I can trust you, when you lead me, when, when I fear you, when I respect you, when you guide me, when I always come back to you, even when I steer away, to me, that's love. Anything else is just luster-like. Mm. And, uh, what? No, go ahead. You finish your point. All I'm trying to say is, like, I understand what you're saying, but when you say love is God, you're supposed to, you know, understand my intentions, do all this and all that. And I'm like, yo, it's a two-way street because you have to understand that your intentions are your actions. And if you keep, you can't keep saying you have good intentions, but keep doing the same. But hold on, Jay. I'm speaking. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not speaking from. I've seen people's intentions not display in their actions. Exactly. Like they mean well, but they're doing the opposite. Hold on. I'm not saying. That's not what she's saying. I'm not. Hold on. So you're saying it from the, from the perspective of the person who's on the receiving end. I'm talking from the receiving and giving end. So I'm not saying, okay, first of all, if I continuously hurt you, then I don't love you. That's not God. Right, but you, but love is God. When you say love is God, the one thing we do as humans is sin. And guess what? In, in the Bible, and I God can't, understands that, And Jay. that's what I'm saying. But that's my point. God understands that. I'm not here to understand you continuing to do the same thing if it's hurting me. That's not okay, me. But that's, that's why God. Said, but Hold that's on. Why but I the said. person who's continuously hurting you is not living in God's image either. So but, they don't love you. So my, so it's this gotta is, be this mutual. Is why I yeah, said, well, this is why I put it to growth. This is exactly why I said it to growth. Because when it comes to God, I can only be as good to you as I'm good to myself. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, as long as I am on a journey to better myself, and which is why I said you have to be patient, you have to be kind on everybody's journey, because at the end of the day, I only can display to you what I'm displaying to myself. If I care about myself and I'm doing the right things for myself, nine times out of 10, I'm doing right by you, mm-hmm. period. And if you, couple. and if you, hold on, not right. to cut you off, and if you allow somebody to continuously fuck you over, then you don't love yourself. So exactly. again, you cannot love mm-hmm. someone without loving yourself first. Right. So it's like, okay, yeah, okay. It's like, I'll give an example. Say, um, I don't know, I went out and I got drunk and I got a DUI and crashed my car. So say my boyfriend replaces my car, right? And then say two months later, I do the same thing. Then say two months later, I do the same thing again. If he stays with me, then he doesn't love himself. So he definitely doesn't love me. So He's a weak what, person so who can't stay away from me. Uh, it goes I, both ways. But if I if I stop doing what I did to hurt him and to make him come out of his pocket, then obviously I love him too. It has to be mutual. Or, I feel like or, God's or, love so, for us so, is mutual because God never dis does, he doesn't disown the people who love him. That's right, fast. Go ahead, Alex. So I was gonna break it down like that. It's like a ladder, right? And I feel like at the top, well. You believe in God, God is love, right? Mm-hmm. And that's that unconditional love. And that's the love that we we aspire to have. Yes. We aspire to seek that love and that unconditional love for people. But then in reality, it's it's fleeting. Love is fleeting at times because the situation, those circumstances happen. But I feel like the next stage of it goes to what you were saying is self-love. Mm-hmm. And that's I feel like good. you have to learn to love yourself. Yep. You have to learn about yourself. Yep. Because one thing, like I, I remember 
when I was watching relationship goals, Michael Todd, like the first time he went around, he talked about insecurities, right? He talked about in a, in a relationship, a lot of people feel like you get into a relationship and your insecurities are gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in reality, what the relationship does is it exposes you. Yeah. 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 If anything, your it, it makes it even bigger. So yep. that's why I feel like the importance of love is having that. I mean, I feel like you, you tap into the source. You really understand yeah. what love is mm-hmm. through the source, through God, yep. having that interrelationship, having that yep. fellowship with God. Yep. But yep. then taking that knowledge that you have and then transcending it to yourself. Yep. What do I like? Right. How can I love myself? Working right. out and all of those things. Right. And then once you realize, and you're never going to perfect it, but once you start to have an understanding of yourself, I feel yeah. like then, then you can pour mm-hmm. it out. Right. And, that's, yeah. I, I feel and like do we ever perfect to, life or do don't we try every day it. and God does it's not a, give it's up a on constant, us? Well, but that's, that's why you constant keep going journey. to the source. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Just because you a met an example of like you crash, you getting drunk, crashing the car and you continue to do it and that man don't love himself if he keeps taking you back. I don't think that's true. What I believe is you can make mistakes, but if I see growth, then I'm a, I'm going to make the sacrifice to be with you because I see the growth. Like, you can crash my car, right? Crash my car. And I'm like, yo, I don't like that, da 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 You ain't, you you haven't been drinking as much, right? But, but guess what? Guess what comes with not being as drink? What, guess what comes with not drinking as much? Your tolerance go lower, right? You don't have a high tolerance. Now we chilling. You had two glasses. Usually you had 10 glasses, right? This time you had two glasses, you crashed it again. And I'm like, I seen the growth. Mm-hmm. I seen it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, intentional. But hold it was on, a no. Mistake. Because right. hold on. Mistake. Let me tell you something, though. That is where the line gets drawn between respect. Slope. Because let me tell you something. If I fear you and I crash your shit, I ain't drinking at all. I don't want you to fear me, though. But I should. You because should. if I don't fear you, I will continuously crash your shit. Should. Because I feel like, why can't I? You, you took me back the first time. You, but if I really respect you and I'm, okay, if I'm, okay, the difference. Versus fear. So or even love this. versus like. So if I ne- like you, then, yeah, I still had two drinks and I know I'm about to drive and I crashed your shit. But if I love you. Nah, I'm good. I'll drink when I get home so I because I'm not cra- I'm not even taking the chance well, to crash this shit and lose him. Because that's the respect. next you have to the value the person. Is, that's respect. That's not fear. That's like you know what? Like some things, if I'm driving my friend's car, some things I just will not do in his car because I that's not my car. So listen, Period. when I say I fear him, when I say fear, I'm not saying fear in the sense of I'm scared of you. I'm saying fear in the sense of I am afraid to lose you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was exactly. gonna add to that. With the next part, which is like, can love exist without, and you finish the sentence. Like, so you're saying, can love exist without fear of losing the person? And you're saying, can love exist without fear, without respect? Yeah. So is there something in particular, like, can love exist without, what do you what, so yeah, I'll, what, I'll, love I'll, exist I'll without first. growth? I keep okay. saying that. That's like my biggest thing is growth. And okay. See, I guess because yeah. I'm not, so like, you are right, right? But I guess because like, you know, how like some things are just who you are, so you don't count it as a plus one if that makes sense mm-hmm. so like part of me is like growing i'm always self-reflecting I'm, that's something that i'm always doing right mm-hmm. so when i look at it it's like man that's what I'm, that's what i'm bringing to the table anyway you know what i'm saying so when i'm looking at love i'm looking at something that i have to like i say sacrifice because like growing for me i'm gonna grow with or without you like period that's yeah, what i'm gonna have do. to that's yeah that's so when it comes like, that's so loving when, yourself that's right? so, loving when, yourself, so when it comes period. to a relationship i'm not gonna say yo not saying you're wrong i'm saying me like I'm, I'm not gonna say even I'm not gonna say love loving you is growing because with or without you I'm gonna grow. Now loving that, you to me is me sacrificing. So when I say growth, my so bad. I'm gonna say that you. I mean I don't want to so speak for you. You're, you're saying love saying is growth. sacrifice, right? So when yeah. I say love cannot exist, love exist uh, without sacrifice, when I say love, you're cannot, saying love cannot, cannot exist can, without can, growth. When I say love can cannot say go ahead. Time and sacrifice. Okay, so I'm saying when I say love cannot exist without growth, I'm talking about without individual growth. So as much as people. As much as people say mm. like they're growing with or without you, there's a lot of times where people in their life do get stagnant mm-hmm. and they think they're growing, but a lot of times they're still facing themselves. So they're actually not growing. They're going through the same cycles to get those lessons learned that but they haven't lessened. To tell somebody I'm that not, not telling. I would never tell That's somebody what that. That's what happens when I'm people get left. At trans- transparency moment, it happens to myself. So mm-hmm. I know it happens to other people. Right. But you see it. It's there's yeah. times where people have been in marriages for 20 years, wake up and their spouse don't love them no more, and they're like. Well, what did I do? What did but I how do? Could but you it's not like, how did you not see what built up to it? that? Exactly. Because you were standing so and not was is, living. It's not just, oh, we'll all grow. Yeah, we're all growing, but there's also time is in that. The biggest thing was time in that. So just because nobody said you don't grow, but if your growth takes one to 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's not good for somebody else. So that's why I that's said it, love okay. is growth. Because at the end of the time, at the end of the day, whether it takes 10 years for you, two years for me, it still has to come with that. But in that same sentence, when I see it or I don't see it, look, that's so all is God. What, patience? <clears throat> no, I'm saying, it's I'm growth. saying love. I said love cannot exist without growth. Okay. Period. 
Okay. Period. I'm going to say that love is reciprocity. And when I say that, mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. in terms of yep. if you don't love me like back, it's impossible for me to love yeah. you. I might think in my mind that I love yeah. you, but unless you love me back and I love you mutually, right. there is no love. Their right. love is not one sided. Right. Yo, you know what's right. crazy? You got to give and you got to take and yeah, give. That's a fact. And it is crazy because we're so. We're so much individuals, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. I was just like, you could have kept going. I would just, because the camera's on you. Go ahead. Okay, so, all right. How many times have we all been in love? Alex, how many times have you been in love? Honestly, one time. Like, what type of love? No, it's only one kind at this in point. In love? What we've been in love. What we, what, what we were just discussing. I've in love. Like, relationship type? No, or what we just discussed. How many times have you been in love? One time. Okay. Two times. In love. I love all my niggas. You know what? I think I've been in love um <laughs> twice. Okay. Nanique, I need a better answer. <laughs> Sade, whatever the fuck. I need a real answer. Um, it's like nah. I think I wanna say like for real, like grown up, like in love twice. Life. Of course I love y'all. I love all my niggas. I love all my niggas. All right, too much any. All right, so <laughs> everybody says twice. Alex says once. So that's why Alex I haven't is. Lived enough. That's why Al- no. That's why Alex is the happiest in the room. <laughs> <laughs> right, facts, because he's not as tainted. Facts. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. So I think you know, um, I think I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be able to grow with mm-hmm. yourself, and I feel like you're supposed to be. It's just, mm, wow supposed to be able to grow with yourself and your partner you know what i'm saying i think it's sacrifice because you got to be able to sacrifice you got to be able to come to some type of um you got to be able to come to some type of what is it called um compromise mutual understanding yeah exactly right it's not always what you want yeah it's not always what i want it's what uh, it's about how can we make this work and what's best for us not just me and not just you but that's why i say with reciprocity you got to be putting in what i'm giving out Vice versa. Mm. It can't just be me loving you all the time and you're not loving me back. That's not love. That's just infatuation or that's me playing myself. We have to both feel the same way or it just won't work. Right. That's a fact. So um, can we get into the shits or let's have fun. Let's get into the shits. Where we at? Uh, Where we starting with? Trump, I'm assuming? What you want to start with? So your boy, Donald Trump. First of all, did anybody catch the debate? Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. It was a fucking mess, but it was very entertaining. Um, Welcome to America. So I just want to say that I thought it was a really low blow for Trump to say that Joe Biden's son yeah, was a cokehead. Wow. However, when I'm arguing with someone, I take it just as low. So I'm yeah. not really... I'm not going like to, I think, but I to be the, I'm not the president. About that. I'm found, not the president. I found so, out some things about that that I did not But for him like. as the president, like, where is your... Like, where's so, your so some back some backstory on that? So basically, Decency. so Joe Biden's wife, son and infant daughter were in a car crash. The infant daughter and the wife died. passed away. Uh, that was uh, he had a son and another son. Um, one of his sons ended up dying away at war. And the second son ended up being on drugs due to losing his mother, losing his sister and losing his best friend. Who and was he was brother. also at war as I well. Not he also that. went to war yeah, as well. Exactly. So. To be the president or to be even just human, to even stoop that low, I just think that's disgusting. Like, and th- it's like inhumane, mm-hmm. disgusting to even use that as an attack point for something. And, you know, it's very, he was very much bullying. That's very much bullying. And to be the president of the United States and bullying somebody on camera who has lost his wife, his daughter, his son, and now has a son that has resorted to substance abuse because. Of trying to recovering, a recovering addict, a recovering addict at that. I mean, you cannot get any lower than that. And I do not respect like that shit is despicable. But can we say, can we, uh, can we all agree to say here that nobody's surprised? I mean, Trump has been this way. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, However, he's if consistent. You vote for him, I'll give him that. If you like, vote for him, then you you're obviously just, just as bad. No, you're just as bad. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't like. I'll say people. This. I'll say this. He hates everyone except for white supremacists at this point. From a news standpoint, right? That was the worst debate I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it was. It was. Um, especially because like it was like they were in kindergarten. It was moments where like I was laughing, right? 
and then you have that moment where you take a step back and it's like why am i laughing this is not this even funny. is the president of the united states like this person is going to lead this country that and their decisions are going to affect me you know so you have that moment where it's like this is this really affects me and you have two people that are up there well i can't say two people but you had a situation where it was just back and forth and it bickering. was childish um and, yeah and it's so crazy because um it's wild because like i know a lot of people have been talking about it but it's one of those things where i just didn't even want to like engage like i didn't talk about it like i seen a lot of people posting about it on the stories and you know and i'm not knocking it but it's like one of those things where you cannot even feed it because it's so disgusting that it just almost gives it its views it gives it the numbers it gives it everything it wants and you almost have to not fuel negativity like that because it's so fucking negative and so disgusting it's like i couldn't even indulge in it so i I, it's almost like i wanted to say something but i intentionally refused to talk about it because i was like i don't even want to talk about it because i don't even want to feed this type of negativity like i had to literally intentionally leave it out my conversations like you know obviously we're on the podcast and we talk about it because we have we're going to talk about and touch on all things but that's what I feel about this shit. I'm like, look, if you don't go for vote this nigga out, regardless, that's it. I don't even want to talk about the disgusting behavior. So I don't even vote because no. I think it's bullshit. No. And I don't advise oh anybody God. else to not do that. I'm just saying for me personally, I feel how you, you feel about that. the conversation. But I have to speak my truth. No, nah, you can. I don't so, engage no, you because don't have to, to me, so it's it's all I, I a big what she's saying, fucking Because at first hoax. I wasn't going to. I'm not going to lie. I'm but not going to lie. I was on the same stance. I was on, hold on. Let me tell you the what? stance, right? So I understand exactly what she's saying. Because at first I was like, man, fuck all this. Because do I 100% think that Joe Biden is able to lead the country no. any better? No. no. I'm going to be honest. However, I will take the lesser evil over the other evil. And I cannot not vote because at that point our votes do matter in that sense. However, I do understand where she's coming from. Because at first I was on the same stance. But I also but I feel said, like I'm going to. I feel like it's fixed. <laughs> Of course it's fixed. However, I said I'm not going to not vote because then unless I have a plan to move this country in a whole nother direction and I don't, mm-hmm. I cannot just automatically give him the vote. I'm moving, I'm moving to Cuba. I, I all, all, all I'm saying is... I ain't taking no tourism right now. It's COVID out here. You don't Cubans. always have to speak your truth. And I do. No. No. Yes, I do. Because what happens is if you don't vote, I just feel like keep that to yourself because you don't understand the the power. platform the power that you have the power that your words have because now you say you're saying don't i wouldn't suggest you to do what i'm doing but you're saying that i'm not doing it no hold on wait let me clarify that when i say i don't suggest you to do what i'm doing i'm say i'm saying go vote no i'm not saying go vote i'm saying do not follow me just because you do your research just because you hear me say it i don't go follow what what everybody else says when they say go vote there's plenty of influential influential people who say go vote i don't follow them I march to the beat of my own drum. So when I say don't follow my what I do, I'm saying like I'm not trying to lead anybody. But what I'm saying is my truth is no, I do not vote. Yes, I have my reasons. Yes, I do believe that it's fixed. Yes, I do not like to engage because I do think that it's foolish. And that's why I don't do it. But I'm not saying, Jay, don't go vote just because Jasmine said this, that, and the third. Because I don't have all the answers either. Those are, those are just my answers. No, nah, and what I'm saying is with the platform mm. that you have and all of us, right? You know what? If you have 10 followers, when you say what you don't do or do, it it definitely influences an audience. It I'm might not, trigger yeah, a you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're I'm not saying you're wrong, but a Biden lot of times we, we gotta That's understand that say. Uh, uh, we gotta understand that our voice do her whole whole weight. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And when you say this, like a lot of times we don't have to speak our truth because a lot of times we just keep it to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We don't and I'm not trying to use I'm not trying you know, to be bad. I'm no, not no, trying no, to be no, that no, guy. And I understand, right? I understand, no, I understand what you're example, saying. But, great, but I will never I'm come, but what comes, say Yeah, with great responsibility comes no, no with, with great to whom much is given, yeah, much is much success. Yeah, that's right. all I'm saying. And I that's agree. That's all I'm but saying. I would feel like I was misleading people if I did not tell them what I do because I'm built off of what I do. Because people feel like her. And you know, and and at the end of the day, I get what you're saying and I get what she's saying. Um because like I wasn't, I was in a stance too. Like I was like, you know, do, do I vote? Do I not vote? Like I was like, I really don't want to. Because, because what I do I look like telling you honest, don't vote? Like, and I mean, hey, go vote. However, and I don't. However, that's not real to me. However, there's people who feels exactly I'm person, like jazz. I'm a person. So, apologize but, because this is a conversation for off camera. I'm just saying, right. I'm basically giving into what I'm trying not to do. Like it's funny yeah. though, because like I haven't uh, 
a example of that exact moment, right? Um, it's like 2017, it was like a rock the vote kind of event. Mm-hmm. And I was blessed to, you know, I interviewed D Herbo and Dave East. And they're performing at a voting event. And I just remember a moment where G Her- Herbo, like <laughs> he does the whole interview about voting, right? And I was like, so like, what about your vote? And he was like, oh, I don't vote. And like, so at the end of it, I was like, what? There like, what, what's the purpose? Like, that's you just a bad did question. all of yeah. that. And on you. <laughs> on me. A, like, like, that's so. a bad question. I'm sorry. All right. No, so, anything, ask him that. But see, I think Why that not? if anything. Like, you at a voting event, you perform Honestly, I think that if anything, it's a good question because that's the problem now with society. It's everybody aspiring to be something that. No, it's everybody You're aspiring not to be. Mm. And it's everybody. It false prophets and everybody aspiring to be something that is unattainable. So. No, I don't, guys. I don't vote. And I, I don't want you, you should, to think though. like, oh, I'm perfect and I vote and I believe in this. Do I like Trump? No. Do I care for Biden? Uh, no. Not so much. Do I even participate because I think that it's rigged? No. So so mom, so I'm pretty sure your mother said this before. If you don't have anything good to say, don't say nothing. So but I don't think that that's though. bad to say because yeah. you know what? I think that America is supposed to be a democracy. And I think that we're not a democracy because we are literally, it's a dictatorship. But I wouldn't Because even why that. does it even, yeah. why should we have to, why aren't we voting for the people within our own fucking community? First of all, why question. would I, I vote can't that question. for two men who no, have never see? been through shit that I've been through, who, who don't even like people of my skin pigment or my cultural background whatever what the fuck am i gonna how are you gonna lead me but see, why are you the choice to lead me for the sake that one of these motherfuckers is going to run this country though i need to pick the best vet that's going to have the I think best. Deep, so in my experience because at the I end of the that. day at the end I of get the day that. so I, I pay taxes like every motherfucking body else. As you know do what I'm I. I have to work like everybody motherfucking else. And although I don't care for one of these niggas, I do have to pick the, pick the best candidate because I don't want Trump I in the office it, again. So because I've seen what he has done to so this country. And I do not want to be a part of the reason why he ends up in there again. I got so an that, example. Wait, I hold understand up, And I understand that up, it's entirely. Hold on, it. but let me just say this. Okay. We got to be realistic, too. Like, the black community and the Caucasian community are not the same community. But it's but not. Boom. But it's so what the situation you're leading is who? at the end of it the has day. Nothing, it doesn't, it it doesn't does, come back Because at me. the end of the day, you still pay taxes. It all matters. But at the end of the day, wait. the people that you vote for, not wait, in this election, Congress, I know. In Congress, however, Alex, Alex, Alex. Congress is going to matter depending off the president. Boom. But no, that's what, because, no, that's that's what the I'm president, trying to say. But what y'all don't understand is that the executive branch has nothing to do with the legislative. So let me let me, let me let me let me add to that or the judiciary that said, branch something that you said i feel like we limit ourselves right and i, I would just say educate yourself as yes. far as voting in regards to we break it down to just the executive branch whereas something that will apply to you we talk about sports betting right mm-hmm. why do we have to drive to delaware i know we because can't vote here it's, it's well now we can but it was illegal it's not before. even it's not even yet we have to vote on it in november you know what i'm saying when we think about voting we think about it just from a presidential level we vote in senators. We vote Local. in judges. But those are the yeah. important. First of all, all those are we the important in, elections, though. They're all important. When you they're say I'm not voting, that's why we have to educate yourself and yeah. understand the importance of voting as a whole. Period. We can't break it down to just simply two people, and it's yeah. like, oh, I don't like either of them, yeah. so I'm not going to vote. Period. They're still judges. When you go to court, like if I go to Montgomery County Circuit Court, it's like, yo, I I Trump might vote just you there. Hand picked. Hand picked. Another one of him that's three. to be the prime judge. That's no, three. he so shouldn't like, be able to do that. That's so, why he has to go. And that's, that's the thing. So you have to educate that yourself matters. on this matter. But when but our see, people are getting prosecuted, right? But with that, that, that matters. also comes the House and the Senate. They have yes. to vote. And you vote on that as too. Well, you vote but you on vote that too. Them in. You it's vote in your senators. Same, you vote right? in your representatives. But that's what I'm saying. The president isn't choosing those people. No, no, we are. We are exactly. But that's all I'm saying. But when you say you're not voting, you're. It's like. It gives the illusion that all of that, because we're not just talking about. I'm yeah. not voting in the presidential election. I'm not doing it, and I understand if y'all disagree with me because that is fair. Everybody, that's why I said, don't follow what I do. This is what I do. I hey, personally, you right, you right. That, that, that shit is rigged, your opinion. and that's how I feel about. Let's it. get back to the podcast. Let's let's we can scroll all scroll down. Well, Trump, 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 Trump got COVID. COVID. We just want to let y'all know. He got COVID. After all that shit he was talking about. Not wearing a mask. First of all, I, I don't even him. think Trump has COVID. I think that it is a, is I think it's PR. It's, what are you going to say? It's uh, the October. No, it is this. No, it's scare. not the October scare. It's Look. not even that. It's that 
Trump right now went on the debate and showed his ass. Now he needs a sympathy, sympathy. vote. And now he needs to show I'm human like you guys. And like we already said in our beginning podcast, we're not the masses. You know, the masses believe whatever the fuck they hear. So I think that Donald Trump is doing this as a a publicity stunt. And he may not be, but that's just my theory. And what I feel about it is fuck that nigga. I don't give a fuck if it's a publicity stunt. I don't give a fuck if he got that shit. You don't give a fuck about us. I don't give a fuck about you. And that's period. That's all I got to say Can we get into like some, since we here, right? Shout out to Obama, my bad, for being a stand up act. You know what I'm saying? And Joe Biden. And for, Joe for Biden for wishing him going well. High. However, I'm going to say it for him. No, 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 no. I'm going to say it for him. Y'all could formally tell that nigga, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Period. I'm sorry, but I know Obama is the first black president, but to me, you already know. We got to say it. We got to say it. Disclaimer the views of this. Look, fuck him. But, um, and Let's get into the shits for real. Yeah, man. Um, we so yo, just if you if you decide and you feel on your heart to go vote, do your research and go exercise your right to vote. And if you choose not to, it is what keep it, it to is. yourself. No, I, I say said keep it. it to yourself. I said, I said it is what, I what it said is. What I said. Look, here's okay? the thing about when you have an audience; it's your audience. So whatever you it is choose what to it do, is. whether you vote or you don't choose to vote, that's your audience. Because I ain't no false prophet. Now, one thing I'll say though, it's your audience. If you don't vote, do you feel like you have the, the the right to complain though about politics? I don't complain about politics. I sit back and I treat politics like I treat entertainment and anything else. To me, I mean, no, that's why I just real. asked. That's why I just asked. But exactly. it's, and it's crazy. No. A lot of people treat it like that. Like you know. At the end of the day, That's like bad though. It, 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 it is, is it bad because it's such entertainment though. It's not supposed to be. It's, but this it's not, it's not to be. but that's what it's become. Next topic, because it's yeah, that we, shit we, could we, go we, far. Like I don't even know what to say. Like, it's, it, everything could it, the whole shit could just go far. So Drake and SZA used to date. So shout out to Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin. Uh they dropped a fire project. Vision. So yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to Twenty One Savage. I got a, a, a I gotta new, give him grace. Bro. I got a new yeah, level. because Dre, Jay always was like, I don't like that nigga. I don't what? like that nigga. Yeah, yeah he I didn't don't. like Twenty One Savage. Why? Because he's British? No, it's just <laughs> not, he's I don't like his music. His music is trash. I fuck Twenty One. But what I will he's say, British. I fuck with Twenty One. I said I fuck with Twenty One. You may say that. What did I say? It's first you, the Henny had you said that you fuck Twenty One. Oh, I know no, you don't fuck Twenty One. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I'm gonna just say I fuck with Twenty One. It's a knife. It's not drag though. That's it's not a, even like. It's drag. a Glock on my lap. Nah, I like twenty one. Running. Hot, hot. I'm gonna leave here. <laughs> nah, I fuck with twenty one. What happened? So I was gonna say, um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Savage mode too. I got a new, <laughs> I got a new level of respect for twenty one because of the interview. Like, first of all, I ain't like how the the, the interview will try to like phrase a question. It's like, man, if I'm a nigga and I only got my gun. And I don't know what else he said. My gun is something else. How am I supposed to get money? Give us some advice. He's like, well, get a job, nigga. The fuck you talking about? Right, like, he was trying to bait him in. Yeah, but it's like, nigga, get a job. Fuck you talking about? Like, it's a thin line between being a fucking idiot and trying to be a gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, real gangsters is going to take care of their family. But exactly. that's something. That's another point. Uh, You know, I, at first I was saying, yo, shout out to Drake. Because Drake really, his list is crazy. Are you talking about like features? No, nigga. Bitches. What the fuck are you talking about? Ain't no features, nigga. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, features featuring Drake in the motherfucking bedroom. Like, you wouldn't want to date SZA? Like, what? First in of all, 2008. Up, 2008, SZA. Wait, time out. After, before the before plastic surgery. surgery. That, all, uh, listen. What? I'm. You ain't even like her. You I had know, a whole y'all like on Twitter. Get Let's talk about fans. it. Let's talk he about it. He didn't even like SZA. He called her a thought. So stop. I, I, never even, I never even said nothing. Like, <laughs> literally. Say? Like, what, I was. What did, what did you wait, say? Time out. See, I have a problem with that because you know how I feel about that personally. How can we call SZA a thought? This is the first person that we've heard that she's dated. But that's what Jay said. Jay, Jay called her a thought. No, because Why? we're jumping around. Because she, of like her history. You get, like, we're jumping. Like What history? Oh, oh you, now you don't like well, You got to tell the story now, Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell the story about, now, Jay. It's not even about that. I was just saying he has a good list, and clearly people like SZA. Am I the biggest SZA fan? No, I never even said that. The so, fuck? So why is she a thought? I mean, the songs she used to make, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so wait. So are you your, are you your art? No. So Am I a reflection of my art? Yes, I am. Okay, so very much so. But, okay, but how do you know that she's not sharing somebody else's experiences and making other women feel good? Good that they can they went through that. 
Congrats. What guy okay, so, say? but since it's not a thought, let's not do that. All right, okay, cool. Whatever. Because we don't know nothing about SZA. It's pussy. not about me not versus SZA. It's about oh, Drake yeah. lineup being yeah. elite. Like, okay, damn. But you got to at least retract your statement that SZA no, is a thought. I kept it. It's still on my Twitter. My you go to it, is and I got rid of it. But, so I can't tell people not to vote, but you can tell people that somebody's pussy is a whore when you don't know their pussy. I think Gotti said it best. That's not fair. That's how y'all degrade women. Nah. Anyway, back to the oh, issue at hand. So basically, 21 Savage dropped the new project with Metro Boom and Savage Mode 2. Um, and there's a song on it that features Drake. And I guess in the song, Drake raps, yeah, says she want to fuck to some SZA. Wait, because I used to date SZA back in 08. So I guess in everybody else's mind, Drake is airing out that he dated SZA and that was a private matter. Um, I personally think that, again, oh, yeah. it's publicity. I think that it's not a big deal. We've all dated certain people. I mean, 08, oh, what was that? How many years ago? 10? I ain't been 11, you know, I'm bad at math. That was no, a long time ago. You ain't just say 10. I mean, I don't know. 11? It's 2020. 12. It's 12. So it was 12. 12. Okay, so 12 years ago. God damn. I mean, Shout 10 years ago is literally 2010, though. Okay, Shout but out I to don't Rihanna give a fuck. It's that Henny. Hey, yeah, I, I tell y'all motherfuckers the now, Henny. I'm bad at math. Yo, baby. No, it's not even the Henny. I'm not a black hater. I'm, I'm bad. Fuck you. I'm bad at math, but I got a good point. Um, okay. I got a what? Who, a good point. Who gives a fuck? A good what point. A good point. Oh, okay. what, who cares what happened in 08? I think that it was catchy. I think that it was, uh, it was intriguing. And I think that the people fed off of it the way they, they wanted them to because now everybody's talking about that and not the project. Shout out to Drake and SZA. I think they both make great music. I could personally care less if they fucked or not. So what are they talking about the age difference? What's so basically on? they're saying like if they do the math, he was 21 at that time and, and she, she would have been 18 17, 17. Or 18. You don't know if she 18. was 18. Yeah, she, she turned 18 in 08, so it could have been at the end of 08. All I'm saying yeah. is this. When it's What's all said and that? done. I don't understand what that When it's all said and done. It was so many years ago. I mean, we seen Tyga date Kylie Jenner. Oh, we we yeah. saw so many relationships where yeah. the person, I mean, Beyonce date. and Jay Z, Beyonce, like, like, come on, let's get on, real. Like, enough, mm-hmm. enough. <laughs> she said they said she unfollowed Drake according and to the also, so how, how yeah, do we know that, that he? It just wasn't rhyming. So like, it's I mean, funny Drake. I ain't gonna lie, Drake is losing touch with some of his lyrics because even in, even in the pop star song, I ain't like the two, four, six, eight. Like, wait. You just wasted, uh, t- like, why would you even put that in your song? But I'm just saying. I don't think you wrote it. Don't ever. Anyway. Yeah, he did it. I don't think so. I think he got the. Cr- mm, uh, that's no. the whole thing about Drake. He, he, he gives his. He, he definitely gives his um. Right, his ghost yeah, credit. Yeah, he does. So. Uh, you know, I'm a Drake fan. I'm a Drake so I'm that fan too. I'm going to just have to go look at the lyrics because I'm sure there's some underlying. <laughs> Drake's reason. never said anything I didn't He's, understand. Exactly. So I'll go look at the underlying reason like to figure Scorpio out. I didn't understand it too. Why Scorpio he said bias. It might, I'm gonna go Scorpio look. I'll bet you I can find bias. I can. It's just wrong when he said watches don't something they appreciate. That's all. It's just wrong. Wait, watches don't what? He said something about. Appreciate the watches of like re- that. I'm sure it's some it's riddle. No, but when it's two four, this two four six eight ain't have nothing. I mean, it might, it might Time. be the way the watch Time. places on a, pa- two, four, a, a six, protect. Eight. I don't know. I don't got Time. one, so I'm gonna have to look at it. I don't know. It you might know, be Drake, a reason. That much that you want to just. I do. I do. I do. You know I, do. I love That's my nigga. On, Scorpio. October's I told you, Scorpio bias. It's our month. Hold on, wait. But can we? Shout out to Drizzy and SZA because she's a Scorpio too. And shout out to Scorpio season because it is approaching. Peel, peel, fuck Libra season. We skipping right past that. We in Scorpio time right now. We pre Scorpio. Scorpio. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You already know. We warming up. This mama. This mama. Okay, next. Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion again. (sighs) So now basically Megan Thee Stallion is sticking to her story. However, I did not. But I know her I best friend lie. Kelsey. Is her name Kelsey? Apparently, they've unfollowed each other on social media. Yeah. There's so been boom. some. Real quick, cut you off right there. Okay. Sorry. What's up with that now? Like what? we were talking about that on the car ride, me and Wyman. That like social media has become so powerful in our lives that you won't even delete a motherfucking number no more. You just don't follow them off of social media. I mean, that's what yeah. the world's like. What did that become the thing? Like I'm I ain't it. following you. I'm gonna keep it straight up. I used to think that like same thing, right? But if we if we cool and you unfollow me on Instagram, I'm gonna feel away. No matter how we, no matter what we say, like I'm gonna feel away. Hmm. It'll be cool. Yeah. One of my homies unfollowed me, and I was like, you. "Because I'm gonna be a hundred. Did you, did you, I don't you even hit him up people. though? Nah, because so I, I wanted to hit him up, but because of the last situation, I hit him up, and we had a conversation, and the conversation was like, if it was ever a problem, we would approach each other as men. So because we didn't, we didn't follow through with what he said, I didn't hit him up. Hey, your man said, "Look, I'm a man. I'm publicly not fucking with you. How you gonna act?" <laughs> Fuck him. 
<laughs> so my hey, thing is period. this, like, so I'm already a person. I do not follow you if I don't like you. I don't follow you if I got a problem with you. And I also am not going to follow you if I just don't like what you post. I've always lived by that. I'm not the type of person, like, I don't like to see, if I don't want to see it on my timeline, it's gone. Like, I, I just don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, most of what I follow anyway is all inspo. It's all, like, vacation spots, clothes, shoes, hair, nails. Anything else in between that is either, you cool, like, I don't got no problem with you, but anything else scattered around there, if I don't like you, I'm not whatever. So, yeah, technically, I'm going to assume if you don't follow me and we cool, you either don't like what I'm posting or you don't fuck with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. Like, we're not going to act like it's no secret. Like, social media plays a huge part in our lives what right I, now. What I don't understand. I mean, shit, we get all our information from social media. So it's like, you know. What I don't understand, like honestly, you know, I, I I was really, and I'm glad we had this two weeks on almost because I've, I haven't said anything about this on social media or anything. What I don't understand is, there's a couple things. Because Tori decides to tell his story that, and if we want to listen to it, we don't support Megan. But what if Megan is lying? Like, isn't if 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 Megan is lying, right? If she's lying, I'm not saying she isn't. If she's lying, like Shade said one time, doesn't that make us not support black men? Because like we're not wanting to hear what he's saying. And another thing is, if if we find out that she is telling the truth, then we can support her. But until we know the truth, because none of us was there, why are we taking anybody's side? So, so I'm what you're not, talking about is but I think process. to 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 people's defense. I'm just going to say that, you know, Tori hasn't said anything. So now they're going off of Megan, what she, Megan said and Tori's silence. So it kind of had you, it kind of leaves up, it leaves open yeah, it makes the you, space yeah. for interpretation. Like I told you, if you so don't say anything, I, I can think what so, I want. So how I feel about it, right? So, you know, just listening to Tori's side through his music, you know, they were dating, right? So I've had a situation where I was dating somebody. We have both mutual friends. I chose not to say nothing, even though I was the victim. The person that, which is why I feel how I do about, um, feel about Megan is just out of history. What I've seen is the person who pops the most shit usually is the liar. That's just how I always feel. The one who's coming out just with all the theories are always got to have all the sympathy, whatever I just came out with is the ones typically that's, you know, obviously feeling guilty, but because I feel like that, I also feel like because they had a relationship, if Tories chose to be quiet, Maybe it's just out of the fact that he's not bitter and he still cares about her. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to tarnish you, even though you're trying to tarnish me. I'm not going to tarnish your name like that because I actually give a fuck about you, even though you want to twist it any way you do. Not saying that's what she's doing. Not saying that's what she isn't doing. I'm just saying I do still agree with the fact that, like, honestly, would nobody still to this second can say for a fact what happened. Oh no! Because of I that, definitely agree. Yeah, I don't. I'm because, not taking Megan's side. I yeah, never did. No, I'm staying I'm not consistent. Negating that. Yeah, but because of that, I just feel like, of course, I wouldn't want to hear Tori. Whatever the yeah. fuck Tori got to say, because I'm just at this point, nigga. I'm so sick of hearing about the. Honestly, I don't even care what none of them got to say at this point. At this very second, I don't give a fuck what y'all talk about it. I, like I'm off it. However, to the same degree, as a Tori fan, and at the time I was a Megan fan, and I'm not even saying that I wasn't a Megan fan. Because shout out to her, Young Thug. That shit is definitely cranks. I fuck with that song. Um, their no, sh their new shit don't stop. I ain't gonna lie, I like However, it. I that don't shit like bang. Music at that all. shit bang. What? But I don't. It does Which nothing. For your me. opinion is your opinion. Okay. Yeah, that shit definitely bang. But I'm also a Tory fan, and because I am a Tory fan, of course I want to hear what he got to say. And because you know, I seen her Saturday Night Live. I didn't see the whole video, but I seen clips, and I seen a lot of girls going crazy over it. You know, she did a whole segment on just like protecting like black, black women. women. Yeah. I don't fuck with that because I think that's giving. Like, I feel like you cannot put the black woman against the black man and be like, we're just protecting black women as if black men don't protect us because that's exactly what they want. Like, and I don't fuck mm. with that. Like, it's like, okay, if you was in the problem situation with another aggressor, because the whole point of a lot of this is just the fact that we are also dying at the cop, the hands of cops as well, black women. But you're going against a black man, a man and we don't even know all the details. First of all, I don't like that. I can't. I even, never like that. I can't. I've even, been saying that for a look, while. Relationships, never. relationships are two sided. So yes. I don't even yes put things like that into it perspective. Does, it, when I'm talking like, about it because I don't know what y'all were fighting about. I don't right. know what, what led up really to what. happened. I'm not going to generalize and say all mm -mm. black men don't protect black That's women foul. just because y'all got into some shit and it went left. I don't like it. What I will say is this. To the people's defense, I can see how they can say like, oh, well, he didn't say anything, so he's guilty by silence. However, I don't move like that. So I personally don't believe Megan. Um, she could be telling the truth. 
I don't believe it. I've been consistent with that since we started talking about it. But I can I can say how I can see how somebody could be like, well, she spoke. So then he ain't saying nothing. So he must be guilty. I personally don't go by that. I think that you're innocent until proven guilty. But we do live in a society where you're guilty until proven proven innocent realistically. So what I would say is I I don't not believe neither one of them because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, What I will say is if Tory Lane shot her. Period. Mistake. Like if if he shot her, he's wrong. He's fucked up for that. From his song, though, he's saying that how you got shot. You only have fragments. Of First shit of all, in your foot. I don't think so. I don't he know. got shot. I think he might. I don't know. If anything, like I said before, I think they might have been tussling, or I think he might have let that know. bitch off, right. and it, it might have ricocheted and skimmed her. But I don't think that grazed because her. Even if I don't, don't think say she got shot hit wound. Foot. Yeah, she got taken fragments out her foot. But motherfucker, I could walk across a crime scene. Listen, and get I that, know plenty of people who got shot and. No, it didn't always lead to them not being able to walk again or not having or having to rehab. However, I just think that it's clear bet- the difference between being shot and a bullet a bullet penetrating through you and being grazed. I mean, if you know, you know. Grazed or fragments because they're not, not even saying don't. Shorty was grazed, but you know. So, yeah, I don't think I, it's not that I believe either one of them. All I'm saying is like if he did shoot her, he's wrong, period. Like even if it grazed her, he's wrong. Point blank, period. Facts. I just don't like saying it because I don't know that he did it. So I don't even like to say like if he did, because that's unfair to my black brother that I'm putting that on him possibility. And that ain't even the case. I'm sorry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to put that on him because I feel bad to even put that on him. And that ain't the case. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know this bitch. Honestly, like, they're, up. they both had some shit going on. Yeah, they both or it lying. Been came out. I'm sorry. They both lying. Somebody, they're both leaving out parts of the story. They're both doing it. Yeah. And the fact that her best friend unfollowed her and she was in the car. I don't know. It's, I don't it, fucking know. It looks know. messy. Because my best friend and a nigga shot me. Oh, fuck you, you bitch ass well, nigga. You I shot said my it. Hold up. I said it. I said it from the gate. She popped off on Drea before she ever popped off on Tory Lanez. I'm sorry, but if you shoot me, then you the first person that I better get with before I even come for anybody else. So right then and there, and then the story about her protecting him from the police, it's like, so you protected the person who shot you. You didn't address the person who shot you, but you want us to hate the person who shot you, but you don't, do you? Mm, Cute biggie. Yeah, um... Off. I'm honestly, I don't even care to talk about the story. It's lasted and dragged on so long. No, I don't. Both either. of them could suck my dick because I don't like, even give a fuck. Just fine, justice. I From never whoever. give a fuck. Yeah, I just, just feel like justice needs to be yes. Like who? Yeah, nah. So I definitely want to talk about it because, like, some, like I said, I, I haven't spoken on it. <clears throat> and like I said, if he, if he, if he did shoot her, he's absolutely wrong. At the same time, if she's lying, she's wrong. But I'm not about to point no fingers at either one of them. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we yo, don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. And the only thing I don't right. like is the fact that it's so easy for people to point fingers at Tory Lanez without hearing his story. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's easy for somebody to say something first. Like you said, like, she could be trying to get it. She could be trying to get her side out first. Narrative. I'm not saying that's yeah. true. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But the least we can do is try to hit his man, hit his man out. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. And I feel like it's fucked up that we're really what judging if- this man. Before we even know what the fuck happened. What yep. about, uh, I want to say his manager, somebody spoke of it, was like, when y'all really hear the story of what really happened. His videographer. The, the videographer, he was like, y'all going to know what's up. And y'all going to know that he's telling, that, that it didn't happen of nothing of what she said. So, I don't mm. know. Mm. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know. I'm still listening to Tory Lane's music, whether he shot oh, the yeah. bitch or not. Because let me tell you something. I got friends who shot a bitch, and they still my friends. Hey, it's a part of life. But, um, no, I'm not going to be, hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like Jay said, well, don't tell people. Look, I'm just saying from my perspective, I might have let off at a couple niggas, but it's like at the end of the day, I'm still a good person. <laughs> Things happen. Like, what can I say? Shit happens. But Are you a I don't, you know don't want to get into people. Okay. That's, but that's why I want to have the conversation, because as much as you say that, that's just not that's, it's, 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 it's not fair. And I feel like a Fair-like. lot of times, like for like we talk about double standards, right? Double standards are double standards. But in those double standards, there's some things that's just not fair, right? You said I might shout off at a, at, a, at a couple of niggas. I'm still a good person. I am, and that's fair. But certain situations, if I was to ever physically punch a woman, that would carry with me for a long time. And it would, but now, that's not right either. Now, what I will say is that it's. 
to say that that's not fair for other people because I feel like there's tons of people who agree with like, bro, if a bitch is beating your ass and she punches you in your face, punch and you punch her in the face, like, bro, like, what can it, you do? It's what can you do? Like, let me tell you something. I have told my brother, bro, like literally. If a bitch is beating on you, bro, smack her one good time to the ground, bro, and walk away. And not to be sorry, not to say like that. I'm not, I'm not saying that. Not to be immature. It's not to be immature, but like y'all gonna stop. No, okay, no, no, no. Hold on, wait. We don't come. But like, wait, I'm not about no, to say act like. No, I come from that bullshit. Yeah, but, hold up, but not to be immature. But I've met Tory Lanes. He's shorter than me. I'm only five 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 six on a good day. Uh, I know somebody who's about five nine who told me that Megan Thee Stallion is huge. So that being said, I don't know if she was whooping that nigga and he had to pull out for her to back off or what, but he's a very small guy and she's a very big I, woman. This is what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's ever right I mean, for it's men. True. It's I'm not true. saying it's ever right for men to put their hands on women, but what we're not going it's to not do. It's not right for a woman to put her hands on a man It's not for a right for a woman to put her hands on a man either. And at, and at the end of the day, if a man loses his temper in that moment, you cannot condemn him either. Like, and, and that's on both sides because at the end of the day, I've seen like some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Shit. I've been in some shit. Like, yep. like it's, it is what it is. Like I've done it's things not to right. a man to make him. And it's out. real. Like, and, it's, and I've also been on the other end. So I can it's, see it's how we can get there. Exactly. So it's like to say that if I punch a woman, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be on me. I think there's tons of people on who, who would still understand. Like, nah, that bitch was beating your ass, yep. bro. That bitch was beating your ass. You try being five foot in a six one bitch it's, is thick than a motherfucker and, and beating on you. Because I ain't do? even that big, but I'm heavy handed than the motherfucker. First of so all, I know. First of all, we don't know, like like we were saying initially, we don't know if it was in self-defense. We don't know what happened. I don't even know so if it happened. At this like, point, I don't even know if it's publicity or not. So at this right. point, moving forward. Okay, last topic. Let's roll it. I think it's Chrissy Teigen, John Legend. Um, Prayers go out to them and condolences. Apparently, they lost a child. Um, and I guess Chrissy Teigen shared a photograph of it on social media. And she became sort of a voice for uh, other mothers who have lost children due to pregnancy complications. Um, you know, I think it's one of those things where everybody's not going to agree on whether she should have shared it or not on social media. I'm just going to say my part on it really quickly and then y'all can have the floor. Uh, I have a cousin who lost a child and who did share it on social media and it was graphic. However, her pain was serious and however people need to vent on something like that, like I've never lost a child, so I cannot relate to that. However, people need to vent, uh, let them vent. I don't know what the people were saying in the comments or if people were supportive or not, but you know, in a situation like that, there's only but so much that I'm going to say. I've never been through it. If that's what she had to do to grieve, more power to her. Um, I really do like Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. I think they're a really nice couple. I think that they're really good parents and I just want to say condolences to them. Um, so, ooh. Um, so, you know, obviously she announced that Thursday that she and her husband, John London, had lost their baby midway through the pregnancy. Um, you know, RIP to their baby. Um, I think it's a touchy sub subject for a lot of women, um, because, uh, in particular what I've seen a lot of women talking about on Twitter or just close friends of, you know, people not taking their miscarriages as seriously as if they were to lose a full grown child. Um, and, you know, people mourning like miscarriage the same way like it's like okay well you never had the baby so like you don't know but like a mother knows like you carry a baby through your womb I don't give a damn if it's four months five months six months it hurts all the same like you bond with it just the same so you know I definitely understand you know the pain and the agony of just feeling that way um also there's a lot of mothers who just mourn that who ended up being triggering for them who actually have lost also uh, actual whole child it's just all like a triggering aspect um for me I, I don't know like I feel like you know I feel like everybody's different like you know what I mean at the end of the day so I'm not knocking her for sharing her pregnancy photo like her photos in the hospital when they lost the baby holding the baby and things like that for me I'm a different type of person um like even for example when I lost my brother like I posted pictures of my brother currently but I wouldn't have posted him in the casket like, it just, you know what I mean? That was just a lot for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would damn near wouldn't even look at it. So, like, you know, like, 
to see it, it was disturbing to me only because I'm, I personally feel like some things can be left private, but also I'm not in those shoes. So I can't directly say if she was wrong or right. I'm not saying that. Um, I do think that women who do lose miscarriages do deserve their flowers. Um, you know, hers were more so a stillborn. Um, I think they deserve their flowers. I also have a friend who suffered a stillborn, went through the whole pregnancy, got to having the whole baby. The baby was, you know, deceased. So, you know, it's definitely a hard situation. You know, I definitely think a lot of the commentary in the comments came from, you know, Chrissy is popular through Twitter and Instagram. And um, just as much as she has a lot of supporters, she has a lot of people who don't like her at all as well. Um, due through her opinions or how she carried things and, you know, her vocal voice, um, you know, and I think she got a lot of backlash through that. But, you know, I'm on the same stance. I support her 100 percent. I do love her and John 100 percent. Um, I feel bad for what they had for them, regardless of if I would have shared it or not. That really doesn't matter because I'm not in those shoes. So that's what I have to say about that. Yeah, I really can't say too much about it. That ain't really my place. Yeah, I, I feel like all I can say is uh, prayers up. Uh, but I, I do want to say, like, as people, like, even with social media, I get it. Like, it's a place for you to say what you want to say and have an opinion. But at the same time, let's have some compassion as humans. That's not something that is up to us to be the judge of if she grieved correctly or not. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. no right there's no right way to grieve losing a child. Yeah. So at that point, I think sometimes as, you know, these people let us into their personal lives, we do need to, we do need to respect it a little bit more as we would a cousin or a brother or a friend or a sister. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, they lost a child. Like, mm-hmm. what can you say that's negative about that? If you say something neg- negative negative mm-hmm. about that, then you have a problem with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, let's that's, that's not that's just not right. And I yeah. think it boils down to like to a degree. Well, I think the only thing I can say about it is you just never know how your testimony will help. Yep. 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 You know, and I've seen other people come out and say like, because she shared this, it helped me cope with. Mm. What Honestly, I went my through. cousin, my cousin is things. still till this day mm. dealing with the loss of Selena, her child, and she posted about it. That's how I even found out that they mm-hmm. lost a child. I didn't know what was going on, and she posted about it, and she was like, "Thank you," you know, like give a voice to the people who lost children yeah. who were infant yeah. and people don't respect it the same yeah. like so if anything came out of it i have to say like it was yeah. positive because i saw somebody i love feel like yeah. they were being understood yeah mm-hmm. it's crazy because i had a conversation with one of my friends multiple times it's just how she felt about like dealing with her miscarriage and just feeling like it wasn't taken seriously or like it's like get over it and i've actually seen females say things like this bitch had a miscarriage she ain't even have really like she keep dragging it on like and it's like it's not right at the it's end not. of the day it's really not right like at the end of the day a lot that's a huge a loss. loss like you know that was supposed to be like all the memories that you or 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 futuristic thinking you could think of being at their proms and their their it's graduations a it's, it's, it's a huge loss to a human society just the same so you know any shout out to the mo- any uh, shout life, out to the mothers who've had any form of miscarriages. Yeah, any any life being lost is not something that we take lightly. Yeah, that's just what that's it is. Oh, that's oh. a fact, man. I think that's what that's where we at with it. Gemini Scorpio podcast episode forty one. Yes, sir. Hey, man, we appreciate y'all. Keep supporting us. Keep uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel. Keep following us on Instagram at Gemini Scorpio Pod. Uh, that's a wrap. Yo, that's a wrap.